De tiri di tiri di tiri di tiri di tando. Bailando. Are you recording this already? Yeah. Uh, hey, what's up, man? Yo. It's Andrew Schultz, and this episode of the Brilliant Idiots Podcast is uh, brought to you by Bevel. That's right. Bevel is the first and only shaving system designed for people with coarse, curly hair and sensitive skin. You could get clear, smoother skin in as little as four weeks when you start shaving with your Bevel razor. Go to getbevel.com slash idiots to check out their great products, including that aftershave. I swear to God, that aftershave will change your life. So, you do that right now so you can support this podcast. I'm sitting here right now with Wax, Yo. King, Chris Moreau, Can I, can I, can I have a question? Room. Can I ask yeah, a question yeah, about yeah. that bevel? will be here in a second. Talk to me about bevel. Bevel, right? Yeah. So, say you got bumps on your cheek and your face, right? Yeah. And you use bevel. It helps you out. Yeah. So, what if you got a bump on your, on your meat head? You should go to a doctor. You can't put bevel you on get, there? No, you... Bevel not that strong? You put Valtrex. What's that? Valtrex is for herpes. It's a herpes medication. You have herpes, bro. I don't have herpes. You do have herpes. Even though I have herpes, I have stuff on my lips now. Well, that's the mouth herpes, but you might have the penis herpes. There's no way. That's going through your bloodstream. It, it, it goes everywhere. Yeah, so maybe a girl got it into you, dude. But girl. Who knows? Maybe some shit in London. Nah, I you didn't know? have sex in London. <laughs> No, you did it. The you girl that was on too. my shirt, I did yeah. not have. That was on my lap with my that shirt on. Yeah, I yeah. need to get that shirt though. Yeah, I did so not have sex. He didn't have sex with that girl. He tried. I heard you try. You, you, yo, you tried. I to threw the last minute. minute. Wait, hold on. <laughs> he threw the hell Mary, yo. He threw the hell Mary. We're in the lobby. Dude, it's the day of. This, the hotel? <laughs> Say what? Yeah, we're in the hotel lobby, right? right. It's the day of, and uh, we're about to go back. And uh, he goes, "Yeah, I'm gonna go smoke." Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Let, let's start in the in the, in the diner. How I just. Didn't pay no attention at all. Okay, well, no, you. He came over and tried to and tried to like work something up. Okay, I should preface back, this. Back it up. Where is it? Yeah, back it up. Back it up. All right, so this show. is after the show. Okay. It's two very nice girls from Romania came through the show. They came all the way from Romania to London to check out the show. Shout out to everybody who came out to the show in London. That show was so check fun. Check Young Hazy. It's a lot. Um, Anyway, so afterwards, we're at this like uh, little, little Middle Eastern hookah spot. We're hanging and uh, we're chilling. And Wax comes over to uh, sit next to me. I'm sitting next to both girls. And Wax comes over to sit next to one the of the guy girls. I was sitting next to, I didn't know that was his girls. I was like, damn, why am I sitting next to your girl yeah, making so her laugh? I'm trying to get pussy, right? So uh, immediately, uh, the girl shudders when Wax comes over. Because? Right? Well, because he's unbeknownst an asshole, to any man. of us at the time, one of the girls told the other girl, He's the, the wax, rapist. It really is a rapist. <laughs> right? Like, crazy, like, yo. Because one girl doesn't listen to the podcast, the other does, right? So, <laughs> so this these girl... The, these are the Romanian truly, girls. Truly, yes, yeah. Okay. So yes, this one girl yes. truly believes that wax is a rapist, right? Like, 100%, right? I sat next to her, she's like, yeah. oh my gosh. She just shuddered a little. You'd think if a rapist is next to you, you would move to the other side yeah. of the room or you'd go home, but she just moved like a couple inches. Is there a language barrier or... I think rape translates through all right. languages. Yes. I think right. it's... <laughs> yes, very heavy. Anyway, so... She's feeling a little uncomfortable, and I try to pacify him. Be like, listen, he's not a rapist. It's just like a joke, etc. Like that. Stop saying that shit. And then the girl goes, he goes, he goes, she goes. I understand that he's not a rapist, but he does take the pussy, right? <laughs> <laughs> I go, I go, what do you mean? Like, kind of strong, take the pussy? No. I go, no. no, no. This guy's not a rapist. So, so, so this, this is like the, it's not really a good way to try but to get a girl. Once Wax realized he wasn't getting any pussy, this dude checked out of the conversation so goddamn. Because I asked right. fast. I'm like, y'all coming to the room? That's and it. They said, they said, they said no. I ain't said not another word. That's the equivalent. This asshole. That's the equivalent about. of pulling the dick out. Wax, yeah. chill out. Wax, chill out. I bet you stay, waste your time all night, too. Yo, Wax. <laughs> well, the second Wax found he wasn't going to get some pussy, he made Basically, just whipped the dick out, right? He was like, the girl was like, no, and he was like, y'all, y'all trying to fuck? Cause I'm not trying to waste. No I'm not wasting crap. no fucking time, yeah. <laughs> so I pulled my meat out. She ain't look at it. I said, I'm out. So next oh, day, what? next day, they they come by the hotel before we leave, right? We're just trying to chill. All of a sudden, we're hanging out. Wax is getting along with a girl that thinks he's a rapist much better. Right. Wax got a, a new T-shirt. We got some new T-shirts from Hayu Clothing. Uh, go to BrilliantIdiotsMerch.com to get some new T-shirts. We got a Hezzy T. I'm wearing it right now. You can check it in the YouTube videos. And then we got the Wax T, which is amazing. Dope. You guys got to check those out immediately. Cop them. Now available. Um, 
so basically, I put the girl on uh, Wax's lap, and then I take well, a picture. See, with it them. wasn't me. I told y'all. Uh, it was me. That's on me. Yeah. Anybody who's upset about Wax, understand that was a good cameo, right? Mm. The girl thinks that he's a rapist. They're not yeah, exactly. Right? Come on. So Wax is like, yo, I, I, I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go smoke. You want to go smoke? And the girl's like, okay, I'll go smoke cigarettes with you. And, uh, <laughs> uh, so they go to smoke, right? In like five minutes, this girl comes <laughs> jogging back into the restaurant. <laughs> I'm like, this is, may is not this? be true, but I'm go like, ahead. Why the fuck is this girl jogging it's, it's, it's back it's into this restaurant? She goes, this girl goes, this girl goes, he goes, he goes, he goes, he goes, he goes we went to go smoke a cigarette. We went to go smoke a cigarette. And then he asked, he asked me if we should go smoke upstairs in the room. I go, I go, what are you talking about? I go, what are you talking about smoking the room? He goes, yes, I think he was trying to rape me. So I ran away immediately. See, see, run, oh, you fuck people, you fuck people mind up by saying, that shit, that shit I didn't thought cool. a girl put out there in the world. I, I know, but she when she heard it from Charlemagne, Charlemagne. Yeah, both of y'all. You, you and Charlemagne. Very appropriate shirt today. It says the Hezzy, which is short for hesitation. Mm -hmm. Wax said that's why you ain't getting no pussy in London this weekend. Bro, he said, a lot of hesitation. Was hesitant. So, first of all, very hesitant. First of all, somebody was trying to not fuck so we didn't get killed. Okay, I was not fucking for God. That's what that was. Oh, I had okay. to make my sacrifice, okay. bro. We, we see you I tone kissing and everything. It's Asalama Andy till we backstage. <laughs> what y'all know about kissing me? Kissing crazy. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You're crazy. Out of control. You're I can't believe it. Wild. Y'all are wild. Herpes just is out here airborne. You I, Wax it. talking about how he has herpes now. No, I didn't say Wax that. Wax started the podcast by saying, what if you got, he goes, because Bevel obviously is sponsored today. He goes, he goes, all right, so Bevel takes the bumps off your face. What if you got one on your dick? By the way, uh... Wax had one of the biggest type A cold sores. I Yo, this is like five that years. That was like seven years ago. The dick. I don't know what it was on his dick, but that one on his mouth. It was, wasn't even on. It was like a little bit higher. I shouldn't have popped. It was like you one of the things. You can get herpes anywhere. No, you can't. Yes, you can. You only get herpes on your mouth and your, and your meat. Shut up. How no, you know? Oh, so you, so you get herpes on your feet? Listen, first of all, <laughs> yes, you can. You, you can. can't get herpes Listen, on your feet. That is a deal breaker for me. If a bitch got herpes on her feet, sorry. I'm a hypochondriac, right? So I've been feeling like I need to take a Valtrex all week long just because everybody keeps talking about fucking Yikes. herpes, right? A doctor said you can get herpes anywhere. You can get that shit on your nose. You can get that shit on your elbow. You can get herpes any fucking where, bro. Nah, I, they probably call it other things like... Um, herpes. No, it's staph infection. No, See, that's probably man, herpes that's too. I don't no. know what that shit is. That sounds like some shit Donatello gives you. That's some shit... <laughs> That's some shit that Wax had. Never. <laughs> no, he probably had herpes and keep telling girls it's a staph it's infection. Staph infection. <laughs> yeah. Especially if I got it on my elbow. Listen, that's not the no herpes. You're not putting your elbow in a pussy. You be How you know? <laughs> hey, hey. You never got real freaky? So you only use your dick in sex? <laughs> the people's elbow. I know you never knew how to have sex. I don't know how to have you sex. You only use your dick in sex. What? Yeah, Wax you gotta use a bunch of stuff. Listen, there's like a difference what? between sex and uh, People use their feet. People use their elbows. People use their fists. I'm not gonna lie. I was in a movie yesterday not yesterday I was in a movie like last week and it jokingly the girl I was in a movie with she started to stroke my dick over my jeans with her foot right cause you know I always say I like feet and that kind of she shit turned you on. I'm not gonna lie that's bro sex. that's <laughs> sex that's sex so you have sex bro, that shit I, what do you think the titty fucking is girls it, use their titties <laughs> yo I'm watching this movie interest <laughs> elbows on the screen but my dick is getting stroked I'm like nah I can't watch this motherfucker no, no, that's not, that's not <laughs> so good so what was making your dick hard the foot of interest elbows I don't know I gotta, I gotta, re I gotta recollect my thoughts on this one bro how'd she look what? Who? The girl. Oh, she was cute. Great feet. I'm Great tired feet. of like, acting like, like he's some like type feet. of player player when he all in love, man. This shit needs to uh, I knew he wanted yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is so corny. This is so corny. Oh, he's so in love. I'm so sick of this shit. This is shit. so corny. This motherfucker is in love. <laughs> Speak on it. Speak hey, listen, on it. And it's I all think alleged. I know who she is for real. Yeah. And I'm about to stop this shit. This charade about to be over. All right? I wish you guys could see the visual. When Charlamagne it's starts shuffling, over. when he starts Listen, shuffling and organizing the papers shit. on the I've desk, had enough. the real shit is about to I've happen. had enough of these shenanigans. I've had enough of this charade. We about to bring this family together. Listen, All right? Listen, listen. This is for no reason. Wait, wait, with our friend? I don't think it's her. Oh yeah, yeah, I think I got, I got a sneaky suspicion it's somebody else. The person you we mean? thought it was, yeah. I don't think it's her. I don't know okay, what you're talking so who, about. Who, who, I don't know what you're talking about. Who is this girl? How did you find out about this? You don't have to say the girl's name, but how you how you find Just out about? Just paying attention. You what do you mean you paying attention? You never pay attention. Just paying attention. Like what's the what? Just paying attention. Do what? Tell me the behavior. Tell me the behavior. Some observations, man. All I'm gonna say is this: He's in love. Not in love. And she's a very nice girl. Really? Yes. What is too good no for idea. him? What about I the don't weight? know what he's talking about. 
She's not. She's not. She, I thought it was somebody else. She's not as big as I thought she was. Because I thought she he was really want to reveal this so bad. Because look how I'm cleaning it up. <laughs> this is not, so corny. Fat ass. Who? He's corny. <laughs> <laughs> so you get mad because you don't want me talking about it like that. Wait a minute. Wait, is no, this no, person working? If, if it's who I think uh, it is, is this person work bad. over at MTV too? Chill out. Nah, nah, chill out. Nah, chill nah, out. Nah, chill nah, out. Nah. But if it's who I think it is. She's too good for wax. Wax. And he, and he need yes. to stop acting good, like good, he's not good. in love with her. All right. Is she good, too good for me? That's perfect. Let her be too good for me. I'm all right. He's in love. I've never what? seen him like this. What are we else we talking about? Is there anything else to talk about? Wow. Wax. Let's talk about June I've Kong Lee. I've never seen him like this ever. June Kong Lee trying to fucking... <laughs> listen, June Kong Lee over here trying to fucking June bomb us. Kong Lee. Lee. June Kong Lee. North Korea. Yeah. June Kong Lee. Stop fucking breaking... <laughs> That's his name. What's his name then? Kim, Kim Jong Un. Jong-un. Almost the same thing. By the way, I don't have no problem with North Korea having nuclear weapons. Me neither. I don't have a problem with them having nuclear weapons. I have a problem with them saying that they're going to blow up the U.S. and having nuclear weapons. Well, I think they're only That's saying that, they're only saying that because because Trump's fucking yeah, with them. Yeah, we got a Now they've been saying that for thirty years. I've never heard them say that. Me neither. Yeah, because we didn't care. I, didn't, I didn't even start hearing about North Korea until fucking a couple Seth, months ago. Seth Rogen, them did that. James Franco, them did that. And fucking. Then they movie. said that there's going to be exactly. a penalty. Exactly. You fucking with me, my man. You can yeah, make a movie out. about a country. Hey nah, man, not out. making a mockery of me. Hell no. Somebody do a movie about you getting fucked in the ass. You might want to. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Razzie, I'm going to start <laughs> testing some missiles. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, who this out. fucked? Huh? By the way, I'm going to tell you why uh, um, I don't have a problem with North Korea or any country having nuclear weapons, right? Mm -hmm. First of all, we all saw how America did Iraq. Right. Yep. After saying that they had weapons of mass destruction when they didn't. Right. After seeing that, if I'm any other country, I'm like, oh yeah. no, we getting us some nuclear weapons because yeah, we these motherfuckers think it's a game, and I'm I don't trust them motherfuckers yeah. at all. And I'm gonna let you know I have them. Just stay the fuck away from me. So here's the thing. Uh, I agree with you. I don't. I think every country has the right to protect themselves. Right. Yes. Even, especially small ones. I mean, a midget with a gun is no longer a midget. No. Yeah. He's a, midget. a girl. A girl a with a gun is not a girl. With a person gun. with a gun. Yes. yes. You're a Period. Person. You got a gun. You're gonna show me some goddamn respect. Exactly. Word is All right. So and and so I understand why, especially small countries, they want to have some, you know, I guess sovereignty with that. That being said, there are other countries with nuclear weapons that aren't threatening to blow up the U.S. And there are other countries that aren't as irrational. As North Korea is. I mean, it's a very irrational place. Well, they're not getting teased for being midgets either. That's <laughs> Trump awesome. keeps fucking with them. <laughs> on, Trump keeps telling them they got a little dick. Yo, you know they, what I mean? They, they, they like, midgets? If you keep telling me I got a little dick, I'm going to have to show you something. Like, look, my dick pulled is all right. He pulled my, it out. My dick can't get over there, but it can get to Guam. <laughs> all, right? all right? My dick can't get to New York, but it's going to get to Guam. I'm going to fuck something. All right, but, but listen, right? well, say, uh, say if they, say say if they do about. shoot something. This is the first time people from Guam have felt American. Listen, say, 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 say if they, right, say like they do shoot life, something, though. We treat them like some outsiders, and all of a sudden they're like, no, nah, no, nah, oh, say, can you see this thing in the head? <laughs> <laughs> say if they do shoot something, you think it can fiddle? I mean, they can't shoot out the sky? What are you talking about? No, no, I understand what he's saying. <laughs> if they shoot something no, no, yeah. from um, Korea. Get to America. Bro. Yes. Let, we are in their computer systems. You don't think it's a coincidence that whenever they shoot a missile, all of a sudden it just we know. falls over the, the Pacific? They're like, they tried, and then the missile fell. In. We're already in their computers. I'm going to be honest with Good. you, man. I don't trust the arrogance of America anymore. And what I mean by that is I used to trust the arrogance of America, and I would believe things like, oh, the countries can't fuck with us. But we've clearly seen that it's not the case in the past year or so. Like, I, this this new technology they, shit, they this, cheated, this hacking and all this other shit, yeah. this just leveled the playing field, bro. Bro, in a lot of ways. Like, we don't know who's doing what. Because all yeah. it takes is one little nerdy motherfucker in North Korea that ain't getting no pussy. Word <laughs> up. That's all in everybody's shit. <laughs> you know what? I'm leaking Game of Thrones. You know what? <laughs> fuck that. Now I'm going to leave power. All right? I'm a, I know what y'all love over there. I know how to fuck yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck us up. And piss y'all the fuck off. Yo. Or, or just fuck the phones funny. up. Fuck the that's phones up. That's how you fuck with America. Yes. Don't do our elections. Don't bomb us. <laughs> just leak shit from the series that we love. Tell us what happens in sure. power. Tell us what happens in game. Yo, you're right. Do you realize? I don't watch TV, so I don't give a fuck. Donald Trump sounded like a Game of Thrones character. Somewhere, we're going to unleash hell and fire and fire White and Walkers. Fury. He yeah. said White Walkers. Listen, he watched too much TV. That shit gave my, kicked my anxiety in. You know you know what everybody immediately started talking about? What? Yo, the last two episodes of Power came out, yo. Yo, Game of Thrones script got leaked, yo. Yeah. Like, literally, we're on the radio this morning. Angela tells the story about Donald Trump. I say a little something, you know, and Envy just sits there. When Angela said... The Game of Thrones script got leaked, and he's like, "No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no!" Yo, it is like, so true. It's two thousand people were shot over the weekend in Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah. 
the Thrones episode? What? Not the Thrones. <laughs> I'm saying, but what that mean? Anybody get to watch all the episodes right now? Then they leaked the script. But come on, man, ain't nobody reading no guy. Anybody reading that shit? Exactly. What the fuck is wrong with you? Reading no you reading books. something for real, bro? I love Game of Thrones, but these people are obsessed. You're not reading the script, bro. no, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You love sex. Yeah. You don't read the fucking box. The, the, uh, the, box the of words condoms? in the condoms. Well, maybe if you read the box, you wouldn't have. You herpes. don't even use condoms. I do use condoms. So definitely. You use condom with wifey. Listen, I'm using, using condoms. condoms I wear wifey? condoms. Are you using condoms with wifey? <laughs> Yo, King Jung Lu, where is he at? <laughs> <laughs> Let the record show. He does not deny that she's wifey. No, I, I've he seen doesn't this. deny it. You and see he, was that? Uh, he was faithful to you. He was faithful to you in London. Yo, you see that? He was, was very faith faithful. That was crazy. I know. Like yo, I'm watching wax. Yo, look Andrew's how mad the, he is. He just threw the mic. <laughs> Andrew's at the what? table with two. What he was from. Romania. Romania. He's yeah. at the table with two Romanians. You know, uh, another. What's, 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 what's our guy's Very name nice from London? Girl. What's the guy's name? <clears throat> our guy. Oh, funny tummy. Jason. Jason. Yeah. Jason's there with his girl. Yep. His girl Letitia. sitting. Letitia. Letitia. Letitia's sitting by wax. Both cool. Mm -hmm. I say to Jason, I say, Letitia done laughed at wax four times, man. You better get down. <laughs> I didn't there. know that was his girl. <laughs> you better, you, you better, <laughs> Jason and I would talk about art and all these other things. <laughs> I just see him looking at the corner of his eye every once in a while, wax making jokes and Jason shit. Jason move. I told him to come up. Once you told me it was his girl, I said, yo, come over here by your girl. I'm going to go over there Which by the Which is even more masculine. How you can be like, yo, come here before I fuck your girl. Yes. And no, then knock wax, it off. Wax went and sat by himself. Yeah. And was on his phone, scrolling, texting. I'm like, who are you texting? He's like, nah, shorty, shorty, man. Good, this nigga, like, shorty, this man. nigga is out of fucking control, <laughs> man. So therefore, he's a piece of shit liar. So he's a liar. So therefore, you gotta see Wax's yes, face right there. Therefore, now. he was concerned that she was upset. Uh, and boy, he wasn't boy, entertaining boy. none of the pussy at the table. That's true. The only person, good. The he, only person who should something. have looked married at the table was me. <laughs> Yo, Yo, listen. What was I doing? Yo, you did no joke. Sleep, sleep. Sullivan, sleep. sleep. <laughs> we are sleep. at a Lebanese restaurant. This motherfucker took one. One hit out of the hookah and it was gone. I was like, they poisoned it. I just got him. I just fucking got him. I ate, I ate, I looked at the clock. I'm like, I should be in the hotel. I have no reason it. <laughs> Left Andrew in there with the young ladies. Wax came back to the room. I know. Whoa. Listen, yeah. listen, listen. Wax listen. in love, man. Yeah. Uh, Stop fighting it. It's, it's, all right. I, mean, I don't know what it good is. Good job. Good this job. Girl is What's done. so special about this, is, this girl? This is Wax? good. This is very, very good. I like I'm this. Kind of like positive. It. I'm just saying it's Fucking positive. Tell me what the hell is going on. You are out there, young lady. You got him. Really? And don't let him fool you. I know <sighs> he's not used to. His, he's not used to being in love. So I'm sure he's probably trying to act <laughs> tough. You what, 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 listen, what's being in right love now? anyway? So act tough. What, listen, what's really being in love? He's probably telling you things like you deserve better. No. <laughs> yes. He wants to be that better. <laughs> he does. He does. Help him get there. He does. You gotta motivate him. He's in love. How'd you? Meet this girl. Can you tell her? I don't even know. I really don't even know. You love it though. Be honest. I don't even know what y'all talking about. Okay. Like, what are we talking okay. about? What else is going on in the news? Okay. Usher herpes. Like, come oh, on. God. Now you're TMZ. Now you want to throw out topics. <laughs> no, no. Now you want to throw out the trending topics, Mr. Boy. <laughs> now he's smart. Let's yeah, finish now he reads. <laughs> <laughs> Before that is Kim Jong Lee. Yeah, he what? thought herpes was a staph infection. <laughs> now what it is. You know what Did you hear is? about the recent Google firing? What a disgrace. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think Usher has herpes. Me neither. Yo, he I might. Only that girl all, fucked it up for everybody, though. I think the this is girl. one of those situations. I hope he has herpes. If not, you're a dork. No, uh, I think this is one of those on. situations where nobody <laughs> cares about loser. the truth. Are you a rock star with no herpes? Well, I think nobody cares about the truth and the lies more entertaining. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't. I don't even think Usher has herpes, yo. I'm gonna be totally honest. I with know you. he didn't get it from that fat girl, or he didn't give it. Yeah, to that fat girl. nah. Her I don't think he fucked that. Has nothing to do with the number of reasons I think she's lying. It has. It's the only most no no a ninety percent Charlemagne ninety percent. Usher's Haitian man. Haitians love fat. Yeah, women, you're bro. right. Okay, yeah. I didn't know that. Shit. I didn't know that. Wait a minute, Usher's Haitian. I didn't Usher's know that. Haitian? I never knew that. Yeah, he's Haitian. I never knew Usher's Haitian. Haitian. Well, he might. You he's know Haitian what? enough that now it makes sense. Now Twelve pounder don't bother. Bro, him. Yeah, that ain't gonna no bother him too much. Listen, listen, there's no way, dude. I was shocked. I literally thought it was Jason Whitlock when I first looked. But she shouldn't be able to share the same meat as fucking chili though. Like that's the problem. No, Chili's the problem supposed to be is whatever she tweets, whatever she tweets out four four four. You don't know if she's talking about Jay's album or her weight. <laughs> <laughs> That's the goddamn. I came problem. down, everybody. <laughs> That's the problem. Four four four. I came down. Look at me. She tweeted lost a hundred. <laughs> 
<laughs> she tweet 444 with a smiley face. Yeah. Like, yeah, that 444 miss hot. I'm no, getting, it was 480 two weeks ago. Get my <laughs> life back. <laughs> What's that big pun song? Nah, Just lost man. 50 pounds. I'm trying to live. Trying to live. Ah. Yo, she's only 21. Yeah, that's no, too much. She's gonna, she gonna have a heart attack. 21 with three kids. No, no. Put, 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 put Fuck on Usher. The... Who the other niggas that was nothing in us? Yeah, you need to talk man. to them. Come on, Dude, man. this girl must have some super good pussy. Real good pussy, though. It's probably stay wet. Ah. Just from sweat, just yeah, just by walking. Yeah, ah. how much type of friction that is? It probably I mean, like a fucking fire. Her weight has nothing to do with it. I mean, yes, I, it does. I, I was doing. Stop some, acting like that. You know, for damn sure, I think it should be slander if a girl that fast says she has sex with you. <laughs> that's and fucked did, that's up. Slander. It might be a chubby be chaser, man. man. That's not chubby. <laughs> that's not. You know what I'm saying? That's not. Chubby that's is dangerous. No, this is like extra seatbelt at the plane. That's, no, is, no, no, that's two yeah, seat. No, two no, that's, seat. That's a yeah. row. That's, that's a, a row. row. No, you got to row. row it. She can't even fly commercial. She got to fly cargo. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's what the fuck that is. <laughs> That's what. That's what. She has to. Fly she is not going in there with us. There's no, no way, way she's sitting next no to me. No way. She's the one you see no way come you on the plane and, and you start complaining yeah. immediately. Right you away. Uh, no. No. Excuse me. Check her. Check please. her, please. No, Can you no, check her down on, with the man. luggage, please? Thank come you. On. By the way, you can't even be upset when you're that big and you're mad at the world because the world is not accommodated for people your size, and it shouldn't be. Yeah. Why would we cater to something we know that causes right. problems? Well, it, uh, I say that about attacks, everything high lately. High cholesterol, diabetes, high blood pressure. That's what she gave Usher. Diabetes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Usher gave her herpes, allegedly, and she definitely gave him diabetes. Immediately. Her right. problems, everything. <laughs> if he had to lift one of those legs a, up. She gave him a song, at least. What song? Moving Mountains. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm not going to front, though. It was a video of Jermaine Dupri. And he put on the way to the studio. And then Usher just pops up behind him. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, they about to go record some fire. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Did yeah. you see it on Instagram? No, 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 Jermaine no. Dupri headed to the studio. And Usher just pops up like Batman. Like, <laughs> and he's singing. He's like, my last strong just went viral. Ooh. I'm like, oh, shit. Here come Confessions Part 3, guys. So ma imagine smashing that big girl, though, for real. Like, no. how, What type of positions do you do with that big girl? I she's too to big. Her over. Now you're acting like you never fucked the fact. No, whoa, I'm going to tell you the one. She wasn't that. She's like. The girl in Murder Beach was the same size. Uh, Wax, stop it. You said 412? This girl probably four, was. 444. No, 300 pounds. The one I probably had was 300. 325. No, man. Either 300. way, it doesn't matter. Over how'd 300? You yeah, how'd you have sex with her? How, nah, how was, like she bent over you're the lying. first time. Listen, on the balcony she, first. She's giving me head on the you, balcony. You ever seen the world's strongest man competition where they take that big ass sphere rock and they put it on top of a little. It's, no, it's, no, not, it's not doing that with her. Is that? Oh, okay. No, There's no picking that. her up whatsoever. No, no. she you bent say, over at first. Now lift your thigh. No, no, she bent over on the couch at first and then you see like she had two asses because it was so big it's like I'm gonna show two you how different accurate, asses I'm going to show you how accurate the Why'd internet you do is it? for no reason because nobody else is fuck it's only big girls there I'm going to show you how accurate the internet is yeah, yeah. look at that meme what does that meme say that meme says Quantasia which is the girl on her way to pick up her settlement check from Usher like she's on a motorcycle yeah. and she's at least 400 pounds what is the sign what is the sign let me see let me see what does the sign say she's going let me see I'm not gonna lie Myrtle Beach Myrtle Beach South <laughs> let Carolina me see. Let, me see. let me see let me see absolutely you wanna fuck this girl there is absolutely yo. Black Biker Weekend <laughs> Black Biker Weekend is a fat woman's this is rally it. this is real this All right? is real Black Biker <laughs> Weekend look like it's a bunch of fat chicks rallying a friend of the NFL now it is it wasn't used to be like that though. It we should have fun. Be like that. But over the past five, six years, this is Black Biker Weekend. You know what it is? Wax was in Myrtle Beach, so fucking a four hundred pound. Black Biker Weekend was like the first woman's march. What do you mm. mean? Like it's just fat chicks and shit. Ah, uh, you are gonna get in trouble? No, what now, are you talking? No, now <laughs> it, it is. is. Now, now it, it is. is. Now it is. What did we pull over for when we went to Mer Black? Um, what did we pull over for? Oh, listen, we had to pull over. I swear, we're driving. The hot light comes exactly, on. Exactly, that's Kreme, the problem. Right? That's the problem. <laughs> the hot light comes on at Krispy Kreme. It's literally like nine girls on bikes who just all... Oh, <laughs> with us. With us. Swerved over to Krispy Kreme. With us. The line, like, the, I mean, like that. There was no line. When that shit said hot light, all of a sudden Everybody we in came line. Over. With a that's what's going on out there. That's Word what's up. going on out there. But I don't. The girl lied. The girl said she was pregnant from August Alcina before. Right. Um, she said she was dating. Uh, I think his name's Kevin Power. He played Ronnie DeVoe on the New Edition movie. I'm pretty sure it was she Steve fucked Powell. it up. She fucked it up. She said she was dating him. Dumbass like, girl. She really has a problem, bro. And Where it, is she from? Brooklyn. Well, she lives in Brooklyn now. <laughs> And is She's this so like stupid. is this a thing like like when you get a certain amount of success in your career you know how like some dudes they start doing some gay shit allegedly do some girls start having sex with big women is this something that happens when you're we all have sex with sex? big girls though in your life you got to at least have one or two yeah, I've big had girls sex with big girls before absolutely yeah. but it, it's not what I thought it's not what I think I'd be doing when I'm one of the most famous people I, on the planet. I don't no. think he's fucking big girls bro that happens. 
I think she's she high has, end. Usher has had some suspicious taste in women, though. He likes older women. He he talked, I talked to him about that on the Breakfast Club. He's like older women. I'm not mad at that. Why? I like older women. What's this worst why? one he had? Why do I like older women? No, no. Why does Usher like older women? It's a thing. I don't know. It's a thing. Listen, all it's the, okay. if I name my top five hottest chicks right now, they're all 45 or better. Easily. I like it's Angela Bassett. Lying. I like Regina Hall. <laughs> yeah. It's the liar. truth. Come on, like Ange- Angela Bassett. He, 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 he always said, but you gotta understand those, those, how Regina the titties Hall. though. Is anybody titties sagging though? You can't be that. Is that so old? It's the stupidest thing ever. Yeah, you don't your want that. Biology doesn't even allow that. Yeah, when you're on yeah. the explore page, you're not yeah. looking for girls with fucking bifocals and a blouse. You're looking for nah, they, no, no. They, they're still hot though. Bikini. I want you to go there. Yeah, these women that he's talking about is still actually hot. Go to Regina Hall. You're 50 years old. You don't. You shouldn't have an Instagram. What are you doing on Instagram? Shit, if you look like Angela. Bath you should have Instagram. No, no, these girls he's talking about is very Regina still Hall, real hot. They, everyone Hall, that came here is really crazy. Deny Lathan, okay, smell good and everything. But they're not as attractive as a 25 year old Victoria's Secret Better. model. Some, some of them they got Outta it. Better. You, got you, like, you like older women for how they talk. You like older women for their brain, not Better. their body. They got fucking. Do you remember when Angela Bath was here? No, she's got it. She's Angela killing these 25 year old girls. Is amazing. Y'all are she's old. Gay. No, these 25 year old girls is like burnt out and drunk. Yes. Like, you see the way you like them, bro? Yes. You're Stop legit. It. You're legit. The biology last two tells girls. You not to be attracted Carrie Champion. How old is Carrie? You just put her up with the 50 year olds? She over 40? No, she's not. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Know, all know, these girls, that's Carrie fucked up. She's going to get you. young, bro. Bro, all of them now that She's going to get him, though. Look old, look young. You the one sleeping. I'm telling you, older women is where it's at, bro. Now you're bugging though. <laughs> now you the last, 50? The last no, she's girl. She's not fifty. She's not fifty. Now he know he doing. But listen, <laughs> wait. So you're, you're saying Carrie's fifty three years old. <laughs> not, wait, Carrie's forty two. According 42. to what? Fantastic. According to Google, she's a great. Wikipedia. That's where I got that from too. God bless, man. Carrie, yeah, see, Carrie. that's hot shit. Yeah, right. she looks Beautiful. Incredible. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. That's what you need. Regina man. Hall, bro. I mean, I'm saying she looks incredible for 42. No, she does. You didn't know yeah. she was 42. No, I didn't. That's, I thought she was but, like 30. See, that's she what she looks incredible I like for timeless 30. beauty. I don't like, oh, she's hot because she's 20. It depends how much time you know I'm spending why, with her. You know why he don't, you know, I know, I know why you don't want to fuck be older girls because so, he don't know how to have sex. You still learning with them young <laughs> girls. I don't know how to have sex. You still learn. <laughs> them older girls is going to fucking teach you how to have sex. You're absolutely right. And you don't want to have sex. By the wax definition of sex, I don't know how to have sex. You don't know how to put a girl's head into the sink and put the fucking toothbrush in her earlobe and put a ice cube in her butthole and put the air conditioning on her nipples. And you don't know how to not ask for consent. Exactly. I don't know how to have sex when a girl's saying no. I guess that's what you're really good at. You know how to these older women's gonna out. fuck me. Exactly. They're gonna just, fuck you first. You just wrap your ears in the dread so you they don't They ain't got time for that shit. They're gonna fuck. They're not gonna sit there and tell you, no, I'm not coming back to the room. The older ones are like, let me get this drink in yeah, me. We're going back to the room. They ain't coming to the room and fucking you. Because they can't get pregnant. With condom, what they gonna get? Nah. What you mean? You get older pregnant. Older women still. can't get pregnant. Bullshit. At 50? Bullshit. Yes. No. Yes. You see all these older Indian women still pregnant? What are you talking about? First of all, if you're 50 years old and you're a woman, you should definitely be using condoms because you got you came too far to get herpes. Man. Yeah, for real. Now right. you're going to do it. Now <laughs> you're going to get I'm it. I'm sorry. If you're 50 years old, you might as well get all the shit. Who cares? No, man. Just let it 50 go. 50 not that old, bro. 50 young as shit. What's wrong with you? You sound like some old motherfuckers right now, bro. Yeah. 50 young as shit. So hold on. So nah. you think you're going to die at 50? I'm not dying at How 50. How old is Louis C.K.? I don't know, but I'm not fucking him. Louis ain't been popping for the past 30 years. Yeah, but we're talking about dudes. I'm talking about the girls I'm trying to fuck. I'm hey, trying to man. fuck under 30. So you want to fuck a 50 year old? You, older women is where it's at. What? I, no, I'm not trying to have sex with a 50 year old woman. No, nah, me neither. I ain't going to nah, lie. It's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, why are, we, why are we sitting here lying? Lie. Are you selling a product? Do you <laughs> got a fucking <laughs> knee brace that's about yeah, to come out to the market? A the back brace. Like, a wheelchair? <laughs> what the hell is it? Charlamagne's back brace. I know. This motherfucker got. Who? Who though? I swear to God, Charlamagne. You fuck women whose body size, body appearance is definitely 63. You know, you got a body age. Yeah. Dr. Oz has a body age. You're 63. Some of these women you fuck are 63. How you know? You fuck the 300 pounder in fucking. My Myrtle Beach. That's yo, ho. Her listen, body that was at least 63. seven years ago. At least seven years ago, no, Charlemagne. Longer than, that, longer than that. Come on. All right, that's what I'm saying. Come on. But when the last time I fucked the fat girl since then? <laughs> <laughs> the one we thought you were dating? The one we thought you were the one we thought was your wifey? What are you talking about? <laughs> That was two months ago. What is this guy talking about? No, what is he listen. talking about? The sense of urgency in his <laughs> voice. That about? was seven years ago. <laughs> when was the last time I fucked a fat girl since then? I have learned my lesson. Bullshit. You just, we just <laughs> thought you was fucking a fat Your Honor, white please. Girl two months ago. I stopped fucking fat girls, Your Honor. What are you talking about? Amazing. Uh, crazy. Let's see. Wax has always had a thing for chubby girls. When? Been a chubby Come girl. on, Charlamagne. I, I've, heard name, him, name. I've heard him say numerous times. He'd be like, 
Yeah, I want some fat shit, yo. Yo, because if I'm, I'm watching what fat you porn, about? you watching fat porn, you just sometimes want to get a fat girl sometimes. That's why I don't watch fat porn you no more. You watch fat porn? I don't watch it no more. Wait, you watch porn in general? Yeah, I watch porn. You're you don't a watch Christian. porn? Okay. <laughs> Christians, <laughs> Christians is the ones who go, the ones who watch porn. Whoa. I'm just saying. Whoa. You know who's listening right now? God, bro. I'm just telling you, we we are Christians because right we know bro. we need help. Like we, that's why we like we go to church because we know that we got a problem. Yeah, born sinners. Yes, so, I know. That's why I go. I'm gonna tell you something. Man. I don't think God. I don't think God. Uh, God is accepting that excuse anymore, bro. What, what do you sinners? mean? He's over that. He's over that whole forgiveness thing, man. We know you know what I'm not. saying? That's what he does. That's what he does. Some point in your life, man. That's you what he know does. Right from wrong. You got to stop using me as a scapegoat. No, listen. All right, I'm telling you. Only reason why you doing it because that's your weakness, though. Certain things I can control. I can control. Lying, I can control stealing, but I just probably can't control using my dick so much. Well, the idea is this: is like it's wrong for him to make you a sinner and then punish you for sinning. Exactly. That's but the you, idea, right? you give you a choice, though. You try to make and the you right keep choice. choosing the wrong thing. Over my dick keep over getting hard. I'm trying to stop. Well, he makes your dick. I mean, hard. I don't, do I don't want you to stop fact, making my dick hard. How do you feel but, about a, the fact that a guy is making your dick hard? Oh, uh, I miss guy. What? What? This guy. The crazy thing is, this guy is what? Crazy. technically sneaking. He making all our dicks hard. Though. God is making all. Our, you know, <laughs> God get my dick up, bro. It's crazy. I appreciate Wax you, Lord. Love Jesus so much. I do. He loved Jesus so much. I do. He loved Jesus so much, but wouldn't give Jesus no head. Uh, <laughs> see, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this, y'all. I don't want to do this, y'all. Dick talk. Dick no, segment. this is not right. You can't talk like that. <laughs> Why not? So we back from London. <laughs> we're good We're alive bro All jokes aside, It don't matter Once again Let me ask you this question No <laughs> You have much to think about it No if Jesus said All your sins are forgiven right now Listen We're not, look, we're not doing you this do. All you gotta do Is spit on I cannot feet. be uh, Y'all actually still Bring this back up again yeah. All you gotta do Is spit on the arches of your feet And just Pop 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 What else is in the news today? <laughs> <laughs> What we else is you, going Jesus. on Definitely love, love you Jesus But I don't know Let's What they're talking bills, about man. Real talk Support for this week's Brilliant Idiots comes from Blue Apron. Blue Apron is the number one fresh ingredient and recipe delivery service in the country. For less than $10 a meal, they deliver seasonal recipes along with pre-portioned ingredients right to your door. You still fuck with that Blue Apron? Oh, shows? dude, uh, yeah, it's incredible. This is a guaranteed way. This is the best date way. If you're trying to get a girl into your home or into her home, I know that sounds creepy, but think about it. Have an excuse. If you just say, oh, come over and watch Netflix. She knows what you're trying to do. Hey, yo, come over. Let's just watch some TV. Come over. There. No. If you're like, hey, let's I want to cook a meal together or even mm. let's smoke. I want to cook a meal together. That girl's going to come over that because now hot. you have a nice, safe excuse to get her inside. And then from then on, it's you do what you do. But I'm telling you, it is hard. Bring to wine, this too. Up. Bring, oh, have a nice last one. And they tells you they, they have wine pairings for all the meals. Nice. Yo, Blue Aprons is shit. I, I stand by it. This will be part of my my reserve tank. Of abilities to try to they, get They teach me how to cook though? It, it pre portions everything else so you don't even know. You know Miss Doubtfire. So it's Miss Doubtfire. Dope. It's it's Doubtfire. It is. It's <laughs> Lego. It's got instructions. It's like IKEA furniture for food. It's delicious. That's dope. I'm not making sure. Well, some of the meals available basil, pesto, chicken with summer vegetable, penzanella. That's right. Then they got the sauteed shrimp and, sh and green beans with globe tomatoes, spinach, and orzo pasta. The miso butter salmon and lo mein noodles with cucumber and charmed tomatoes. Check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free with free shipping by going to blueapron.com slash idiots. You'll love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home-cooked meals with Blue Apron, so don't wait. That's blueapron.com slash idiots. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. I do want to apologize to Jesus, though, because um, I don't feel right talking like that. Thank you, know, you, but I just want to test you. test Wax's love for for him. I really love Jesus. Yo, Jesus is the shit. He the man. He, he holds me down. Jesus is the shit. He popping. That's Jesus why we always live in and breathe in. This is how that. dope Jesus is. Everybody <clears throat> that believes in Abrahamic religions. Well, actually, just I guess Christians and Muslims, they all believe in Jesus. Yeah, Jesus was yeah, definitely he, he the man. Believe he the man. Jesus had an impact. He's holding it down. So he had to. Yeah, have. Jesus yes. had an impact, 100%. bro. 100%. I was talking to Pastor Carl Lentz about this this week. Salute to Pastor Carl. Yeah. Pastor yeah. Carl's getting a bad rap right yeah. now, man. Carl is getting a bad rap, but no, Carl's a great dude. And <laughs> bad I bad really rap for what? Because people think him and Justin Bieber are a couple. Nah, man, stop. Yeah, yeah for real. I'm dead ass serious. Uh, Come on, Charlamagne. They just think. I think Charlamagne threw that out there, man. Yeah, you just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making this oh, up. Wild, I'm the bro. one been defending Carl all week. 
Well, I never seen who? this. Who said he's fucking Justin? Damon, you haven't seen the pictures that they're trying to say look suggestive? Can I see them? They both got their shirt off? No, Carl got his shirt off. Then Carl looked one, good. Carl looked good. Then there's another one where they're face to face. They like cheek to cheek. Carl looked better than Angela Bassett. Yeah, right. Yeah, now you're going crazy. <laughs> anyway. You're, you're not grabbing pussies. That's your I problem. Asked, I asked him. I said, I was like, yo, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not even out. I asked him. I, yo, you know what he said? I, I, I'll I, tell I you later. He said, no, I'm going to say what he said. He said, yo, you got to grab pussies, man. Yeah, I see why Trump pussies. was grabbing pussies now, I, yo. He goes, I see why Trump's grabbing pussies. I go, why? He goes, you got to make sure that they're, you know, they're actually got one. That don't mean nothing no more. No. I told you that. What, what? you mean? You didn't understand. Everybody ain't got the balls to, to cut their meat off. Yo, but you, but a girl can have a dick, man. What are you talking about? Girl can have a dick, <laughs> man. <laughs> you never saw. I a showed you. Dick? What, I showed you what happened to my uh, my fucking boy. A trans person. My boy got caught giving him head. We got pictures and video. That's what he's into. So That's what? what he's into. Listen, God bless I get brother. it. I just at least tell me though. Don't have a what wife. Don't have a kid. Tell you. Well, you know, tell us when you he fucking got a wife the girls. Four, four, four. Got a wife and kid. The guy got a wife and kid. Yes. Oh, so well, he's, wife yo, he's cool done. He's no, cheating. We don't he, know. He's cheating. He can't be doing that type of shit. He's fucking right. other girls too, yo. You're bugging. All right. Anyway, so let, let's maybe she knows. No, she didn't know. She First of all, the, the the picture I saw of that man. He was getting fucked in his ass. Oh, he was he's getting smashed. You don't, just love your it, first bro. time. You don't. You don't just. That's not a first time thing. No, 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 no. Exactly. Right. But I, I want. I want to know. If I, y'all, if y'all giving somebody head or something. I want to fucking know, y'all. All right, that's. Don't that's fucking just be holding that shit. I tell you about my sex. No, life. man, bullshit. If I'm with you and we cool, certain things you got to tell me. I don't, I don't, it's the rules. I don't ask you. It's rules. Listen, you gotta, don't ask me right now. No. All right, how about this? You do all the time. So who tell everybody everything? Because you lying about the girl you love, and that's who's the girl you love then. Well, you can ask me. I got to tell you. And by the way, so what? you can ask him about the trans guy, guy, girl that's boning him. Don't lie and tell say you. you're not. You know, so don't lie and say you're not in love. Yeah. I say Listen. this all the time when it comes to people you know that are homosexual. You you've got two kinds. That's right? not homosexual. You got kinds that are very open with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Those you got, cool. You got the ones that are in the closet. It's three. You got the ones that are in the closet. You got the ones that are open with it. And you got the third who are like, it ain't none of your fucking business. Right. You know what I'm saying? If I'm yeah. out here with dudes, so what? That's no. me. Yeah. I'm not hiding. But if anything. I'm your boy I'm like that, not... you got to tell me, yo. You going to get some of this dick with me? No. All right then. So what I got to tell you for? <laughs> yeah, no, if we man. ain't getting none of this dick That's together, no. you need to tell me That's about like... it. Back in the day when I used to be a savage and I would tell him about other girls, it was girls that I know we could get a train on. Right. So I'd be like, yo, you need to bang this chick. You know what I'm saying? I smash, she down, whatever, whatever. That's cool. If you ain't down to get none of this dick with me, ain't no need for me to tell you about every Tom, Dick, and George. No, at least tell me, let me tell me Tom then. Tell me Tom so I know if I want to hang out and chill with you. Don't be having me. Why wouldn't you you want to hang out and chill? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Let me still decide if I want to go. So if I tell you Tom giving out fire hands, it's not happening. And I bring Tom around. I'm not going. What you We're mean? We're not going. Why? We're not going. What if, what if Tom is like, I'm yo, not, pull your dick out? That's what I'm saying. I ain't got time for that, none of that dumb shit. What if Tom says, pull your I'm dick not, out? I'm not, I'm not, listen. so homophobic. No, bro. I'm not homophobic. Yeah. I say, say, say if we all going out, you bring your boyfriend. I don't want to see y'all with a kiss in. Why? Why not? I don't want to. Why not? Why not? I don't like drinking. What does it bother I don't want to drink. Why I'm not going to go to the bar. You'll never see me at the bar. Yeah, but when you're at a bar and you see other people drinking, you're not upset. I'm not upset, but I just something I don't want to see. I don't want to see it happen. I can't believe you're this homophobic, yo. I don't, call me what you want to call me then. Fuck it. I don't want to see this shit. Why? Because I don't want somebody to. Gonna drug I don't you, think man. you've seen it no. enough. Somebody's going to drug you and get you, yo. Yeah. You and Duval, somebody's going to drug both of y'all. I don't want to hear it. It's going to be a video. I'm not homophobic. <laughs> I, I know a lot. I want to carry him into a van, but <laughs> Duval is carryable. <laughs> Duval, you can snatch him up real quick. Oh, Duval, like that, you can like grab him fast. Baby, you know what I mean? can grab him fast. Bro, he barely can And you got to be delicate. You got to be like, yo, hold him by his neck. Hold him by his neck. Don't break him. We got to put this on film. We got to put this on film. Yeah, just don't, don't put him on film, y'all. Please don't do the it. Thing to him. Wax, they gonna fuck him wherever they wherever he drop. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You gonna drug him and he drop? Boom. Listen, I, don't, I, don't right. have a yeah. with homo, uh, I don't have a problem with gay people at all. I just have a problem with having sex with basically women and men. If you gonna do it, go ahead and do it. Don't the down low and all that shit. Tell I read a great book. I read a great book years ago. I agree with that. I read a great book years ago called On the Down Low, and um, I forgot who it was by, but. Yeah, I mean that that causes a lot of a lot of problems. Like I said, well, like I always Why? say, Why does whenever because whenever you take away somebody's Why? power of choice, if you're married it's and she criminal. don't know, it's a problem. Get, let me know. Problem. Simple as that. That you're smashing that you're a guy. Right, yeah, if you if you if you got a relationship with a woman, yes, and you're sleeping with guys on the side, yep. you should absolutely every let single know. woman. If I'm not know. mistaken, Why? Damn, Chris isn't in here. Women don't like in that the book either. On the down low, the guy had got HIV. 
Exactly. And ended up giving it to his you can wife, also get if that, I'm not mistaken. So then, just real quick, you can also get that from doing needles on the low. You can also get that from having sex with women. You will want to know somebody's low. life. Yeah. My point is, my point is, if you don't feel like you need to uh, tell the girl you're with that you're cheating with a girl, I don't think that you should need to tell the girl you're with you're cheating with a guy. I think you don't. It's more dangerous. I, I don't I think, think the risk is a little higher. Yes, yeah, a little higher, but bro. The risk of contacting, uh, contracting HIV? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, All right, so, uh, duh. Risk but, a little higher. But the reality is, if you're, if <laughs> you're safe, if like, you're, safe, no with code, dude, code, you're safe with a guy, if you're safe with a dude, you're safe with a chick, then you're good. Guy, I don't think guys with condoms, condoms then you're good. By the way, by the way, women will definitely react different when they find out you're cheating with a guy. 100%. You're cheating with a woman. That's because women are homophobic. Okay. Call it what you want to call it. I don't. I know women, women who don't like it, bro. They, women don't like that. I'm women telling you that. Women not gonna fuck you if you are. Women not gonna fuck you if you've been with a dude. We've been asking that question all week. We've been doing like little, uh, you know, just just social experiments and asking women. And women definitely are not. They don't like that. With you if they find out. Nope. They're homophobic. Nope. Yeah. Also, and I, I nope. think I said this on a past podcast. I think that's why we're so against the idea of us being thought of as gay because we know the second we're thought of as gay, women ain't gonna fuck with us. Women ain't gonna fuck us. So we gotta fight for our masculinity or not even masculinity. Fight for our heterosexuality to maintain. Push in our life. That's not yeah. the only reason, but I understand. But if what you're I call you gay and the girl's like, "Oh, he's gay," oh, I'm not fucking with him. That's why you gonna be like, "What'd you call me?" Nah, she just want me to be on my, one of my best friends. That's all. <laughs> so what happened? So you sued uh, Rolling Stone or what? Nah, I didn't sue him. You know, I can't really speak about it right now because uh, it's a legal situation. But um, yeah, it's just like you know what you're reading is true. I'm a thousand percent supportive of this. Absolutely. Yeah. Fa- if you slander somebody like Absolutely. that, yeah. you affect their ability to make money. People don't realize because of this situation, there's opportunities that you lost out on. Yeah. Nah, not really. Okay, fair enough. Not yeah, really. not really. Not I mean, and, and it's, it's been no opportunities. My, my reputation. I guard my reputation with my life, and I, and I tell y'all this all the time. Like, don't don't I don't label me a hate. A hateful person in any way, shape, or form. I tell you the things that piss me off. You say I hate black women, that pisses me off for obvious reasons. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. then you're saying I hate my wife, my daughters, my mother, my grandmother, aunts, women that raised me, women that have given me so many opportunities in this business. And then when you say I'm prejudiced, like I, like I tell you all the time, I read, I, I'm, I'm reading some shit online. And I'm literally everything. How the fuck am I everything? How am I misogynistic, <laughs> anti-black, racist, an Uncle Tom, Bro. a coon? Like, how? Gay, how do I homophobic. hate everybody? I hate everybody. <laughs> I hate white people. Black, I'm homophobic. I'm transphobic. How? Like, this shit got to stop. That's all it You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you know, when I, when I read a headline that Rolling Stone put out that I just thought was so irresponsible, it said, Janet Mock responds to Charlemagne the God's transphobic comments. I didn't make the comments. Yeah, bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So that's just that's just complete bullshit. So you're following this social media narrative and it's like a, a bad chain letter. And I just expect more from the number one music publication in the I world. Don't, I don't. After they fucked up that uh, college rape story. That Very true. But this is very what they, true. I mean, it's just sensationalist nonsense. They're trying to get clicks and they that's have no is. repercussions for their clicks. And now you're starting to see repercussions for their clicks. Remember when Fader put out that thing with Hulk Hogan and then... Gawker. Like, or Gawker yep. put out the thing with Hulk Hogan. Now Gawker's oh, I'm gone. jerking off, right? Listen, man. I don't know exactly what it was. He you was jerking off. You got a whole yeah. video. You got no, a, I'm not jerking off. I think it was a whole No, he was video. jerking off in the hotel room. Listen, oh, you got to hold people responsible. And, you know, uh, like people are saying stupid shit to me. I saw a couple of dumb people say, um, oh, but, but you talk about people all the time. It's the difference between totally giving different. your opinion and, and critiquing facts. someone and straight up lying yeah. on someone. Trying to get you clips. know what I'm saying? If I'm giving my opinion about something, my critique about something, totally different than just straight up lying. And you're giving your opinion about something that did happen. Yes. There's a difference between Absolutely. making something up yeah. and giving opinion on it Absolutely. or even say it happened. Yeah, I, I, I think don't, I, only thing I have to do I'm is totally listen, okay. though. This idea, I'm all supportive of freedom of the press, but have some integrity press. Because right now you're putting out a lot of this fake news Absolutely. nonsense Absolutely. and you want no repercussions for it. I'm sorry. And, and, and it's causing more of a divide amongst us because there's plenty of people who don't know me, who've never had a conversation with me. All they know who, about you is, is this. Yeah, who may be yeah. new to me. You know what I'm saying? I had a comic, uh, this girl who's a comic said uh, some shit about, yeah, what, what Charlamagne said on The Breakfast Club, but he already has a uh, a messed up character. Which is that they, thing. They're, they're not paying attention. Yeah. And I go, I go, what you mean? She's like, well, you mean he said a lot of questionable things in the past. I go, like what? She goes, ah, I just heard his name. It's like you read yeah. one article and yeah. then made a decision yeah. about right this person. Away. And that's we why all kind of do that, though. I'm holding yo. everybody accountable yeah. because this is another thing. When you're jumping out the window and you're saying these things, oh, Charlemagne's misogynistic, Charlemagne's homophobic, Charlemagne's transphobic, Charlemagne's anti black. Even though I got a book out called Black Privilege. <laughs> and the concept with a book is I think it's a privilege to the be lady black. said The lady yeah. said that at the, um, at the uh, thing we was in LA. What? The black lady that came up there. What she said? They said you. Um, 
you doing things against black people. You yes, whole black people. The late down. at Politico, that was like, another what the another fuck woman are you stood talking up. About? Not, not not the not the not the trans uh, trans women who Blossom. came to protest. Not Blossom. No, not her. Ashley and uh, Blossom. Lady. But a, a, a black conservative stood up. Mm-hmm. Told me that I'm oppressing black people. Yeah. Why? Because of my liberal views. <laughs> <laughs> she said that she said I am oppressing black people, and I I never have black conservatives on the show. I said we reach out to black conservatives all the time, and they decline. I was like, you act like, first of all, if you know anything about media, when you have a Bernie Sanders on your show or a Hillary Clinton, you have to invite the other side. The other side didn't want to come. No Republican presidential candidates wanted to come to the Breakfast Club. Right? Gr- real, real quick to that point, um, I would make the argument that black privilege in a lot of ways mirrors some conservative ideology. Yeah, I mean, you're I've heard asking that. asking for accountability. So her saying... Yeah, her saying that you're uh, you're anti-black because of your liberal views. I think I understand what she's coming from. The idea that like this victimization only holds black people down, but you're not playing the victim card. What you're playing is the accountability card, yeah. which is more conservative. So I think this is a person who's just misinformed about your message. People completely. like to say, "Oh, she's not you know, paying attention." People yeah, like to, she's not people, paying attention. People tell me they'd be like, "Yo, Charlamagne, you got a real pull them pull them up by the bootstraps mentality." I said, "No." That's what they say. I have they, you have a real conservative pull them up by the bootstraps mentality. I say no. I have a real outcast and goody mob mentality, and that's get up, get out, and get something. make something happen. Yeah. Straight yeah. like that. Sure. You know what I'm saying? You got to get up, get out, and get something. Period. So it's just like she stood up and she's like, "Oh, you're oppressing black people," and I'm like, "Yo, man, the narratives that are being created on social media about people." Mm-hmm are so fucked up and social engineering is so real because we're just so quick to believe whatever is out there. Mm. Like whatever, when, whatever makes us feel good. Whatever <laughs> make oh, boom. Whatever makes it us It makes feel us good. feel good. Yeah. To say Usher got her piece. Yeah. That's because we don't got up, her piece. Man. No, no, bigger than that is because Usher is famous. <laughs> yes. He's rich. He's bigger than us. He can so dance he his ass off. Yeah. He's been pretty much clean. Exactly. Yeah. His whole career. Yeah. This guy dates older women. That yeah. that other women will be like, why he dating her? Yeah. She not up to his standards. Haters don't give a fuck, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So it's like now that you got something on him, let's go, let's run. Same it into thing the with ground. Kevin Hart. Saying, you, oh my god, you, you got something up. over. Everybody you got loved something? Kevin Hart until they heard that bullshit. Oh my Usher. god, yeah, yeah. Kevin didn't even do shit. Yeah, it's yeah, fucked yeah. Up. Kevin's literally in the front seat of a car, a up. girl in the back seat, somebody else in the driver's seat. He's having a conversation, mm-hmm. and the headline comes out: Kevin Hart cheated. Oh, uh, women went crazy friend. on him. Went crazy. Uh, we didn't even pay. We didn't even. Re- we saw the picture. Wait, he didn't cheat on her. No, no. <laughs> it was in the Kay. front seat of the fucking. Thing. He was in the front seat of a car. <laughs> being Kev. <laughs> if you, listen, by the way, <laughs> if you know Kev, if you know Kev, yeah, that's how Kev is. He's animated. Sure, he's, in, yeah. he's, in, he's in the front seat of a car. She's in the back seat. Somebody's in the driver's seat. He's having a conversation. And it's like, oh, he's cheating. That shit went away so fast. But for that moment, yeah. everybody couldn't wait to up. shit on Cass. Yeah. Fucked up. They couldn't wait. Just because he's doing better than them. I'm not going to lie. That's a sign of success. Yeah. You yeah. ain't popping until it. people it want, you to t- want to tear you down. It comes if with nobody territory. wants to tear you down, you ain't popping, bro. I'm being honest. That's You're why not I, a threat. That's why I gave Joe Budden props last week because he was the only one that was real with it and goes, yep, Charlamagne got away this time. Shout out to the, tra- the transgender community because I was ready to ride with y'all to get him the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then he goes, I can't wait un- to decide with somebody to get Charlemagne the fuck up out of here. Yeah. I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Because guess yeah. what? When people don't like you or people want th- th- your position, they'll ride with anybody that's yeah. against anybody. you. Enemy of your enemies, your friend. Oh, my God. Yeah. They'll ride with anybody or anything yeah. that's but against you. But you still got to be principled. You gotta be principled. That's the reality. Yeah. Like don't it's, you know what it is? It's like uh it's like every X-Men movie, right? It starts out with some beef between Magneto and X-Men, yeah. but then some bigger villain comes along and then they go, yo, Magneto, just ride with us on yeah, this yeah, one yeah, absolutely. so that we could get this bigger villain out of here and then we fuck with it. And that was basically what happened with Joe. Joe was like, was like, all right. Well, I'm not saying the trans people are the bigger villain, but in that situation, he's basically like, oh, you know, I can't, I can't battle you on this one. Yes, you, you and, and, and and that's why I love when situations like that occur. Mm-hmm. Because, you, first of all, I, I know all the usual suspects, but then I like to see the new people who are like, yeah, 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 let's, 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 let's pile on with this. Oh, this is great. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. like nobody had common sense. Who? Yeah. Who? Nah, don't worry. We don't name names. No, no, we nah. just remember them. I got them all. You got a list. Nah. You're like Arya Stark. Acknowledge nothing. <laughs> remember yeah, like everything. Act like you don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. Acknowledge nothing. Acknowledge nothing, but aware of everything. Yeah. Okay. I'm watching. All right, but just like you doing that with Rolling Stone, right? What about with people doing stuff on Instagram, like fucking people up? Can you sue them? me. Can you sue anybody on Instagram? What do you mean fucking them up? What do you mean? Like saying bad things about them that's not true. Slandering them. You can sue anybody. Yeah. 
Absolutely. So but why mad like, people ain't sue? Some of these motherfuckers ain't got shit to lose. I heard Usher's about to sue those people that came out. They should. Oh, he absolutely. What, the girl? The yeah. fat girl? We gonna absolutely. sue her for fucking calories? I don't give a <laughs> shit. Sue her fucking <laughs> ass. She lying? I'm on your ass. Sue her and for I, what? And I like the way Usher's handling it because we're so quick to defend ourselves nowadays. Mm -hmm. If I know something's not true, I don't give a shit. You know what I'm saying? The truth yeah. don't need no defense. All it needs there is witnesses. So if something's not true, because it don't even matter for if Usher was to come out right now and be like, I don't have herpes, nobody would believe him. You know why? Because nobody cares about the truth and the lies more entertaining. I can't, I can't, I can't laugh off that. Bro. How about yeah. if he said this? What if he said, listen, I don't have herpes. Don't get me wrong. I'm shocked too. I thought that I would have at least a few STDs by now. <laughs> All it just of us. so happens <laughs> that I don't have herpes. I'm sorry. What if he came out like, yo, I've had gonorrhea. I've had syphilis. Yeah. I've had these oh, things, but really I got them out the paint. Yeah. I just don't have herpes. If he came out like that with it, we're like, yo, he was honest. He admitted yeah. some shit. And yeah. he admits this rare that he wouldn't have it. But what about the guy shit, though? Him. So the guy shit is wrong, too, then. What about the he guy shit? fuck with no guy. You, they talking about here. I mean, I don't know. All I know is those two people that remained anonymous are smart to remain anonymous. What the guy remained anonymous? The guy and the other girl. The yeah. only girl that came out was the big girl because she clearly just wants attention. Yeah, she she just wants people to know she yeah. fuck Usher. She and tweeted the last her. week. If she, she, she did literally it. tweeted out last week, I need some money. Well, stop spending it on food. <laughs> <laughs> and then she tweeted out. Then she tweeted out. Just enjoying my last few hours as a regular girl. Shut the fuck up. She, she got a bunch of Scott it, Young about to come knocking on her yeah, door. Maybe. Give her a spot on Love and Hip Hop. But she about to get a bunch of followers. I'm sure she got a bunch of followers nah, on Instagram. Let's and be shit. clear. Mona is a little shallow. You're She's fat, fat as hell. You, yo, that's a you good ass fat show. Girl on Love and Hip Hop. That's true. That's I a good what show, fat, yo. What fat girl you ever seen on any? Matter of fact, what fat girl you seen on any of those? That's reality even shows? better right now. That's She'd be the first wives, one. Love and nah, they need a fat. They girl. need they that, yo. Because they got the midget wife. Mona, go get her, Mona. They got a midget wife show. They need to do a fat chicks of New York or a fat chicks of. <laughs> yes. That's Sponsored great. by Mad Foods. It's, oh, dude, it'd be great. Oh my God, ice cream. Oh my lord, dude, this would be beautiful. I love it. Mona Scott and them. That's Go ahead, do thing. that. Fat Chicks of Charlotte. Fat Chicks of Memphis. Fat Chicks of Memphis. Fat Chicks of San Antonio. Fat Chicks of San Antonio. Produced by Charles Barkley. Fat Chicks of San Antonio, God damn it. We need a fat chick. Show. Fat Chicks of San Antonio. Fat Chicks of San Antonio. Fat Chicks of San Antonio. God damn it. We need a Fat Chicks show, absolutely. Gotta have it. Yeah. And they want to mic the floor so we can hear them walking in. Doom. 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 Have a scale everywhere they go. They tell you, they tell you fucking have size. The, have the water glass, the, the, the water just rippling like in Jurassic Park when the T Rex was walking by. Doom. Doom. Dude, welcome to Fat Chicks of San Antonio. You have a bunch of fat girls coming after you now. Say what? You have a bunch of fat girls coming after you now. I feel like I could beat them in a race. I could run away. Oh, wild question. I'll be all right. We got to start acting like being fat is cool. Yeah, with this whole like. Because guess what? Y'all get mad at us for telling y'all the same thing that your doctor going to tell you. Bro, this Your doctor going to tell you the same shit in a few years. You need to lose weight. What you want to do? Wear a white coat and a stethoscope? This is going to be the same shit. Your doctor going to tell you the same exact thing we're telling you now. Shoot the messenger, man. It's not cool. Shoot the messenger. You need to lose weight. Like, stop it. Absolutely. Absolutely, and it's not like we ain't in the gym. It's not. It's not like we're doing. There's yeah. this idea that yeah, if you're skinny, you do like nothing to to for it, yeah, and if right. you're fat, it's all your metabolism. I'm in the gym four days a week. Yes. I'm watching what I, I, I eat. Don't I, like fucking, yes. I don't like going. I don't like going to the gym. Like the fucking. Gym. I love. I love fucking uh, red velvet fucking um, cupcakes cupcake and shit. Love, I do too. I love, I would love that to shit. Eat dessert all goddamn, all day. goddamn all day. day. I would love to say fuck vegetables. You know what I'm saying? I would love to eat shit every fucking week. Yeah, man. Yeah, I would love to. But guess what? You can't. I love to just drink. Look at every day. All the fucked up shit y'all do on the regular, I would love to do. Yeah, but guess what? Discipline, I understand man. that's not how you live a disciplined life. I understand that's not how you live healthy. a healthy life. So why wait? Yes. Why wait and let your doctor tell you the exact same thing shit we're telling we're you now? And, if, and first of all, I just want to know this shit does work because I can't tell you how many times that we've had brilliant idiots live shows or even my stand up shows where people come up, big people come up and they're like, yo, listen, I'm not going to lie. At first, I was a little upset you were talking shit. Well, I appreciate you. I lost yes. 75 I heard pounds. I heard yes. I lost I heard 75. Him. I lost 80 pounds. I, I, I lost 60 yeah, pounds. I, I, I can see my dick now. You know what they say? You know what I'm saying? You know what they say to me? Thank you. They say, yo, keep fat shaming, bro. It's working. No, it's really? working. And see, this is the thing. When you say that you're fat shaming. And good for you. And those people who listen, they actually make a change. Man, I'm the most proud of those motherfuckers. Yeah. I pound them up so heavy because yeah, you get dope. your life together. Word. Sometimes you need someone to be like, get, yo, get that pull fix up game this shit. On. By the way, it's not fat shaming if you're not ashamed of being fat. Let's be clear on that. Okay. Because I can say, okay. I can call you fat and you be like, yeah, hey, whatever. You may yeah. not care. But mm. if I call you fat and you feel guilty about it and you, know you, you feel better. embarrassed, yeah. you know you can do better. You know you can do better. Yeah. Say, like with slut shaming. You know why you can never slut shame Amber Rose? Because she, she don't give, give a, a fuck. fuck. Yeah. Yeah. You can't she talk to no fuck. fucking stripper. She's like, uh, she don't give a fuck. You it's my job. But, but, but if you give a fuck about being a slut and yeah. you know you really you are, and I call you on
against Amber. Like they try to get some pussy from Amber. She's like, nah, I'd be like, yo, you ain't really a slut. Yeah. Right, yeah, I'm you. sure. I think she said something the other week or she put something up there. What she said? Like, um, is she really a slut? She ain't give you no pussy. Like, can you really call her a slut? Oh, I've been saying no that for years. I, man, what? people be yeah. listening to the brilliant idiots on the loan, listening Why? to the breakfast yeah. club and not getting credit. Why? I always say, you're not a hoe unless you fuck me. <laughs> I'll never call a girl. You really I would never. You know, I, don't, I don't mind hoes anyway, so I'll never do that anyway. I don't call girls hoes. I, I, don't, I, I can't. I ain't never fuck you. You're supposed to call your girlfriend everybody. a hoe. I ain't yeah. never fuck. I ain't never fuck. This you know what I'm saying? Only girl you call a hoe is your girlfriend. Man, what? What? I'm just saying, like, if your girlfriend fucks somebody else, that's the only girl you actually call a hoe. She's not a hoe because she fucks somebody else. Yeah, Yo, bullshit. You make a great point. A lot of stuff that we've heard on, on Brilliant Idiots, or we've said on Brilliant Idiots, or Breakfast Club, and these types of platforms that we're on does make it into the mainstream. <gasps> and I had an emotional-ass Instagram post after London because I was feeling really proud about what we did. You but cried? It was, I wasn't crying, but I just, I like, the, what we've got going on right now, which I think is so important, there's a lot of podcasts that have, like, a cult following. And what I'm so proud about about our podcast is we don't attract weak-minded people. Everything is a conversation yep. where half people agree, yeah. half people yeah. disagree. Yeah. We're yeah. constantly pushing people to be yeah. to think different ways about the world yeah. and take these different ideas. It's not whatever Charlamagne says I agree with, whatever Schultz no. says I agree with. It's no. sometimes I agree, sometimes when we're I at agree. live shows. Yeah. Motherfuckers challenge us. Yes, they cha dude, they yes. challenge us. They challenge and we us. We challenge them. Absolutely, and, and they dialogue. tell people to shut the fuck up in the back of them. Real talk, <laughs> real talk. They will do that shit. But it, it's the most amazing cultural movement that I see going on. And I know people think that's a grandiose idea, but I really think it's the most powerful powerful cultural movement because we're pushing the agenda and conversations that you we have here on this show they end up on fucking CNN they oh. end up in sitcoms and people tweet us yo y'all were just talking about this a week yeah. ago yeah, don't. Issa oh. Rae's going through her whole phase right now on Insecure who, when, who when, did, when did we hear about your that your boy been talking about the whole phase for some years now you know what I'm saying so it's like shit that Lisa we say Ryan. This is this is the crazy shit. I'm not saying Issa took that from you. What I'm saying is shit. Issa, that, man. Issa. Whatever. Are you correcting me on you just pronunciation? Named her 21 Savage album. Whatever. We talking about Amber Rose. Oh, Issa Rae. Oh. <laughs> the little well, slim lady. It's like, I'm hot. not saying that she took that. What I'm saying is the conversations that you've had in breakfast clubs that we have here have become such a part of culture, right? That they've organically worked its way into shit. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, for her, example, her cam Hezzy, talking about the three years. The term Hezzy is literally before I never heard announcers saying that shit. I hear announcers. Now announcers say that shit all the time, like, it's a, it. like crossover. I hear it. Now, the word Hezzy existed before what we had on here, the podcast, mm -hmm. but we made it part of the cultural uh, lexicon, bro, vocabulary. Mm -hmm. So, everybody who's part of this, I just want to say I'm incredibly grateful, but you're also responsible for these movements that are happening. And don't worry, bro. Y'all heard brilliant, Cam? Brilliant idiots, cartoons coming, and TV shows oh, and all that. Like Good moves, stuff, bro. movies. We gonna do what the fuck. Yeah, yeah. Heard do. Cam the other day. So I think Ooh. he tackled them both for y'all. When the dude was Cam was like the three a.m. thing. When I did it three a.m. Where, like where? girls don't come to the dude house at 3 a.m. You ain't trying to get you ain't trying Who to fuck them. Cam said that. Cameron? Yeah. Get out of here. Oh, well, you kill a kid? I'm gonna tell you the same thing that I told you. I'm gonna I'm gonna listen, I ain't say you are supposed to do that's great. <laughs> that's great. I don't give a fuck. A listen, girl, I didn't if say a girl come to your house at 3 a.m. I just said don't do don't it. I ain't say do that, I ain't never said nobody to rape her. I didn't say that. I didn't say that though. But wouldn't you tell your daughter don't go a guy's house at 3 a.m.? What the fuck you doing at 3 o'clock in the morning? That's still don't give him That's all I'm saying. I never said it's okay to rape ever. There's never a reason. I don't care if she's fucking naked and she say no I want to do it put her clothes back on let her leave chill out that's, that's what I think you're going to get got at one of your boys house yeah, 3 right. a.m. smoke yeah, right. you're going to put a little something in your ginger it's the only person that ever came on to me is that motherfucker Chris, over there Chris, Chris, I've Chris never Rodney, smoking with Chris and again and that dude's going to be like you, yo, you said it was cool <laughs> 3 a.m. Chris is trying to get raped bro <laughs> me and him in the fucking closed closet you can't smoke with this guy no more in the closed closet <laughs> yo let's Chris, smoke right here he's like no 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 let's just go in the closet <laughs> Chris doubled down on it comfortable. Chris doubled down on it. Chris told Wax he wanted to have sex with a man and then looked Wax dead in his eyes and said, so you never thought about fucking a man? No. <laughs> no, never did. <laughs> no. You Chris, definitely thought about it. Never crossed my mind. Yes, you did. What the fuck are you talking yeah, about crossing my mind and smash a guy? The podcast today. Chris hasn't even disagreed with the idea. He yeah. definitely talked about it on 10 minutes. Listen, he kept looking at that picture of his boy. Because it's unbelievable. Yo, he, yo, he, yo it's yo, unbelievable. I'm not gonna lie. I said, I'm done looking at it. Like, I had to ask him to yo, stop looking at it. I, it's unbelievable. You've been looking at it no, for two weeks. Bro. No, you no, mean, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Feeding that beef. <laughs> Feeding that monster in you. you know, really, no joke. I think you might have taken that picture, bro. No, you're bugging. Listen to me. Grew up with that dude, so y'all real competitive. You're like, I think I could take dick. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just oh, unbelievable. I think it's a nightmare. Like a lot of shit been happening the last couple of weeks. That I, man I was think having that, a good time. Man, listen, no I'm just him. saying, is 
I'm that saying his nightmare. Was a good he was time. loving that shit. That guy was let, let him have deep, fun. Bro. I felt bad for the brother. You know why I felt bad for him? Because he had his shirt on. I'm like, man, you don't feel sexy enough to yeah, take his goddamn insecure, shirt off. Yeah, the wife beat her on. Yeah, come yeah, on, man. It's it's on all fours. Yeah. The man behind you fucking you. You know what I say? If you got a wife beat on, your boyfriend got a wife beat on, he'll love himself. So get rid yeah, of that man, motherfucker. Why you had your shirt on, man? That's the only thing I. That's Even the swimming. Only, that, when I looked at that, when I saw that, I looked at the picture one time, and that's the first thing I know. Like, oh, he got a shirt on. He's not confident. That's you can't throw that ass back and not. That's the first. First thing you noticed? Yeah. You didn't notice the guy in a wig boning his asshole? I didn't care about that. Yeah, okay, buddy. Nobody looking at that I didn't care about that. I was just like, why you got his shirt on? You don't even feel confident. <laughs> you don't throw that ass back. Take your shirt off, my brother. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, all jokes aside. If you a bottom, salute to all the bottoms out there. I feel your pain. Yeah. If you a bottom and you throwing that ass back, man, take your goddamn shirt off. Feel confident enough to get butt naked. Well, yeah, girls, if your boyfriend don't do that. reach around, grab your man titties. Word up, man. Come ah, on, man. Come on, ah. man. Come on, man. Don't do that. If don't your boyfriend's that. fucking you with his shirt on, leave that. He don't care about himself. He's he don't love confident. himself. He don't love himself. That's a lack of confidence. Shirt's Come on, in the man. pool. Come on, Shirt's man. on while you having That's sex. like having shit. It's like, 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 like taking a shit and having your shirt Word on. Up. You're not How confident. the fuck are you doing this? I'm not here for this, boo. You know one way to get confident, guys? And and that's to get bevel. Yeah. Because bevel's the first and only shaving system designed for coarse, curly hair and sensitive skin. It's dermatologist proven to proven and prevent and reduce razor bumps, discoloration, and irritation. The bevel razor uses a single blade which cuts hair above the skin, not beneath, right? So you can avoid those painful ingrown hairs. That's where the ingrown hairs come from. You cut it beneath, and then the skin closes up, and they can't get out. Now you have bumps on your face. You look like a crunch bar. It's crazy. <laughs> your first kit comes with everything you need to get started. The bevel razor and brush, as well as the priming oil, the shave cream, and a restoring balm that is absolutely brilliant. Uh, and as many as, uh, blades as you'll need until your next kit arrives, Charlemagne. Absolutely, until your next kit arrives, okay? Nine out of ten customers continue to come back because they see results. A clean shave that leaves skin smooth and reduces razor bumps. Visit GetBevel.com slash idiots to check out the fantastic line of Bevel products and support this podcast. That's G-E-T-B-E-V-E-L dot com slash idiots. Start shaving smarter today with Bevel. I saw Tristan on the front of some magazine at the airport. What was it? Entrepreneur Magazine, Forbes, maybe. I don't know what it was. Hey, man, know, if you got herpes, try this. This fucking bevel thing really sound good, yeah. though. Try that shit on your meat if you got a bump on your Absolutely, meat, man. Absolutely, but don't share that razor with anybody. Look, here's the thing. I, I want to talk about this. I was talking to uh, Pastor Carl Lentz about this, and I asked him. And I was like, all right, you know how Jesus mm -hmm. and, and the prophet Muhammad— um, when they came, they saw things in society that need to be changed for the better, and mm -hmm. then they changed them, right? Yeah. Like, Jesus saw the way people were being treated, and he was like, no, we need to change certain things here. Absolutely. Because I can Put improve words society, it. right? Words and the same it. thing with the Prophet Muhammad. The Prophet Muhammad came around. He's like, listen, there are certain things in society right now that I think are messed up, and we need to change them for the better, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think if Jesus came back now or the Prophet came back now that they would be upset at people— who are uber religious still trying to live like it's 2,000 years ago or it's 1,500 years ago? Do you think they'd be like, yo, why why haven't you kept progressing? Like I, I, I think the reason Jesus hasn't come back because he know we full of shit. I'm be totally honest with you. If Jesus was to come back right now, first of all, we wouldn't even appreciate him. I'd probably be in trouble. We wouldn't believe him. Number I one. I mean, what if, what if he came back? He could walk on water and we'd be like, all right, David. Technology, yeah, 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 technology. Yeah, 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 Chris Angel. He could turn all the water into wine. He could do everything, and we still wouldn't believe it was Jesus. Period. Like, people ain't as religious as they think they are. I don't know. I don't know. No, you like, wouldn't. I'm telling you. I, no, you I, wouldn't. I, I see certain signs, and I always say thank you, Jesus, because I know what's him. If Jesus was to come back to as a black right man now. right now, right? Because, uh, you know, for, for all intents and purposes. I, I, I think he'd be bummed sometimes that I give money to For him. all intents and purposes, he's a black man, right? All the Christians that have had this white Jesus on their wall, they're not believing that shit. They're not believing it. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. You've been, you been beating this in my head for years. Now all of a sudden he got dreadlocks. His skin really is bronze. He's saying he's Jesus. Nah, he ain't Jesus. That's Jesus. Jesus on the wall. They would. They. We would argue about that before we even got to it. Now I think okay. people who really believe it, I think they look at it as a spirit and he can go into anybody. So a lot of times I look at the bums in the street I, or yeah. the homeless people in the street and I'm like, that could have been him right there. So really? I, I'm not there, looking at the there, person. There was a story in Mississippi. Um, these four scrippers or four dancers or somebody yeah. had a flat tire. This guy yeah, pulled over on the yeah, side of the road. He helped him fix their tire. Probably found out there was dancers and shit. He's like, oh shit, cool. You know, why don't y'all come back to the house? Went back to the house. They saw he had a lot of money. They shot him in the back. Right? If I'm Jesus, I'm not coming back. 
You know why I'm not coming back? Because that happened to me before. Yeah, All right? I tried once. to help you motherfuckers, <laughs> and y'all killed me. Y'all keep acting like Jesus uh, gave his funny. life. That's not funny. Jesus didn't kill himself, bro. No, no, Jesus no. got murdered. Like, we need to be for real with that. I mean, human sacrifice. For no, real. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Human sacrifice. Yeah, they killed him. Oh, but, but, what I'm saying is, like, the religion is based on human sacrifice. And it's BS. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They killed but Jesus. It's just, it is kind of funny how we look at, like, you know, certain, like, ancient Mexican cultures, like Aztecs and that kind of shit, and they're like, they made human sacrifice? Oh, my God. That's so monstrous but then the entire religion of christianity is based yeah. on human sacrifice yeah. a guy was sacrificed and he his he basically died for all our sins God was not that, we it's gotta not stop that saying, and that, i'm gonna tell you yes. something that, but the idea that, that, that the that, prophet could have come back and we could have killed him or the uh, uh jesus yes! come back, we could have killed him it's totally plausible how do we know martin Luther king jr wasn't a prophet that, i said that on this spot so i'm like yo god is in all of us so it all depends on what you want to tap in the devil is in us too so which one you want to go uh, go to yo but it's maybe, up, that's your decision real talk maybe if we started believing that more and started believing oh shit there could be jesus in any in any any of these people we would uh, around us, maybe we would treat each other uh, a little bit duh, more decent. Yeah. That's what we're supposed to be doing, and we're not because that's just our decision. We let the devil come on, on more. All I know we is give this. the devil more well, props. Would he and be shit. upset now? Like, would he look at us right now and he'd be like, "Yo, I made some improvements two thousand years ago, but like, keep improving, guys." Like these people who change society, right? They say that uh, people intellect on their tippy toes. They just see a little bit higher than everybody else. They believe Their vision more. is like inches higher believe than everybody more. else. Everything that we a need to see. know is Please. already here. Yeah. Like that's the fucked up shit about everything. Yeah. Everything we need to know is already here. We just don't apply it. Jesus don't got to come back and teach no new lessons. Yeah. Them shit is there the word, already. The word is no, there. You know what you're supposed I'm not to even do. Talking about lessons. I'm talking about like you know when Jesus was like, "Yo, it's all good. We can eat bacon now. You can eat shellfish." You know, like he came around. He's like, "Yo, we figured it out." So it's like, what if there's Jesus never said that though. He didn't. No. I'm supposed to but then why are we that? eating bacon and shellfish? Because we don't give a fuck because we human and we do what the fuck we want to do. Deuteronomy 14.8 says you should not touch the flesh, flesh of a of dead anything. pig. Nonetheless, eat but it. But Deuteronomy is Old Testament. New Testament. Who wrote that shit? I'm not, I'm not following no fucking LeBron James version of the Bible, bro. Y'all got to stop this shit. King like, James who wrote, LeBron James. I'm serious. Who wrote this new shit? Who, who wrote this new shit? That's crazy. Who wrote the old shit? Exactly. So if y'all want to make up rules as y'all go along, cool. But that's because really that's what's happening, by the way. Listen, yeah, but read, what if read, that's read the, the point? Word. Like every not, the, not, not to, not, every new guy ahead. that came around changed society for the better because you adjust society based on the time that you're living in. So for example, during for for Jews, five thousand years ago they wrote this manuscript, right? Okay. And then three thousand years went by, and then Jesus came around and he was like, Yo, we gotta change some shit. We can't be living like it's five thousand years ago. Right, and then the prophet came around. He's like, "Yo, we gotta change some shit. We can't be living like it's five hundred years ago." I and then what, atheists come around and like, "Yo, we gotta change some shit. We can't be living like it's X amount of years ago." I think that we have to keep evolving. I don't think that means we have to lose God. I think but we I are think we have to keep no, evolving. The, the word is there. We know everybody knows right from wrong. We just don't do right. That's it. Yo, <laughs> like, like, yo, like but that's the crazy yo, but shit. we define right and wrong in different places. In some places, chopping a girl's clit off is right, and as other places. It's absolutely wrong. Oh, no. I think we make up right and wrong. That's why religion is so important. Without religion, we have no moral places is, I, think, I, I, I don't think that's religion. I think that's law. I think law is a different. But law is like a reflection certain, of society. But not religion. Yeah, they cut people's arms and stuff. Like, we all, all morally, places. we all know. Like, there's no way you're cutting the fucking click off, clit off unless you're a sociopath and not knowing this shit is wrong. There are wrong. people that do it and they're not sociopaths. It is just part of culture. I don't culture. believe that. Bro, yeah. do you... Now, certain, certain people steal and you cut your arms and everything. Yeah, like, I mean, it's a lot like, of shit that happens. It's like you said, it's law. When you do some shit like that, listening to a motherfucker scream and being in pain. This? How about this? I got you, right? How about this, right? We circumcise penises. Thank, God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank you, Lord. As we should. For that Let's not evidence. act like that. It wasn't one of the greatest technological advances. <laughs> I appreciate time. whoever, no, no, like whoever like none of God went into and made That's that male happen. That's circumcision right there, yo. That is male circumcision, and we think it's totally normal to cut a piece of a baby's dick off. That is mind-boggling. That is weird. God went into that people's head. It, and it was, appreciate yes, it. Yes, obviously Thank it you. looks way better. <laughs> I can't have my <laughs> dick looking like an anteater. It looks but better. But the reality of the matter easier is easier to clean. Feel better. <laughs> less diseases. <laughs> yeah, it looks better. I think God went into them people. So you understand God going to people and 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 help them out to the, the know certain things, man. Come on, yo, doctors. He got their hand, their mind. You're not just smart for like that all, for no reason. All I'm saying, I used to have a skin bridge, bro. I, I remember what that. I remember what that. Yeah, that, that, shit, that little bit of smegma used to smell like. Yeah, and if your boyfriend right got that shit, ha ha ha. Yeah, I'm not gonna front, girls. Who I know some girls, man, who got uncircumcised boyfriends. Wow. 
Wow. She <laughs> bad girl. She, I've heard girls Hotties, say like that shit. Beautiful. Hotties. Beautiful Hotties. Yeah. Hotties. Yeah. Why are you doing that to yourself? Yeah? Why are you doing that? Yeah, pussy smell like smack. Yo, come over here with the first world. You know what I mean? Like, you, <laughs> why, who wants secondhand smegma smell? Yeah, that's mm, true. Oh, that is true. You know when he go to sleep, that shit just oh. build up like y'all pussy juices just Your build up like that? Your pussy got secondhand smegma smell. Yeah, he can't Think just put that, it in man. while y'all sleep. He can't just put it in. He got to go clean it. No, that's oh, weird. You can't this guy just, got fucking ricotta cheese in his dick. Right up. You can't yeah. even just suck him off in the morning without No, cheese. no, he got to go to the bathroom. Goddamn you know how girls always say I got to go to the bathroom? You need to scoop that Guys got to go to the bathroom, too. Get out of here. Let me go to the bathroom real fast. Granola and berries. Ugh. Look, point is, point is, I'm saying, is this morality that we say is so innate to humans, in my opinion, is not innate. Certain societies are completely okay with horrible acts, and certain societies are Law, I are, think. I disagree. Well, I, but that's it's not even agree or disagree that's 100% fact there are certain that. societies that are completely okay with honor killings for example social facts an entire society equilibrium is not off <laughs> equilibrium off an entire and, and, society and, and, is not a okay, well, listen. What they these eat, listen. are anomalies have you ever had conversations with these people like these motherfuckers like you think about uh, soldiers who in America who come home from war mm -hmm. and they suffer from PTSD yeah they think they're over there in those countries doing the right thing yeah when they're killing all of these different motherfuckers and they come and back they're bombing people they're killing sure. kids they're killing innocent women like sure. yeah. when they come back that shit haunts them bro yeah, yeah but do you know what the, they say shit the PTSD is actually from what they say the PTSD is is a um, they, they have a lack of purpose and a lack of love like they say the closest thing to love that you can create or what love actually is the feeling of love is like mutually assured survival. So every single day when those people are at war, those guys are in this battalion where their life depends on another person. Probably similar to a lesser extent to like sports where you have a really tight knit team. You love those people and then they come back here and all of a sudden they don't feel that same re reliance on another person. They don't feel that same need from another person. They don't feel that same love and that's where the PTSD I'm sure that's a part in. of it but it's oh, definitely yeah. PTSD because you went over there and killed some motherfuckers PTSD I, I thought that was having it's, a, it's, uh, it's, it's plenty of I, I've talked to plenty of soldiers who are fucked up right. because but, of what, what they've seen in what Iraq and those other countries yeah, yeah. like killing random motherfuckers I thought that was like from that. having a um, tampon in too long man shut up man PTSD yeah somebody just told me that the other day what are you talking about not PTSD it's fucking um it's called fucking fat white women. That's what it's called. That's, that's what the fuck you talking about. So right, but yo, Andrew, for from, real. From, from if you think on your black sisters, the fuck ah, fat white women. Here we go. Ah, <laughs> thank you. Go. <laughs> so, so you think if we lived in London, right, the way their food is over there, I think we'd be totally different type of people. So I think it's the food that they actually eat in other countries that make them act like that. Oh, well, I don't know if they affect your actual behavior, but they definitely, definitely do. Affect, that food affect, affect my body. behavior in fucking London. They affect your body. So your body Not act a certain your way. Behavior, but they affect your. They absolutely affect your, your body. body. You yo, if you was fat right now, your whole mind, your mind would be different. All right, that's that's fair enough, and that could affect your mindset. Like clearly, diet affects how people look and, and act and like, your it, mental. Like there's certain parts of the country, absolutely. confidence, everything. Yeah. Like we absolutely. eat tons of protein in America, and that's why we're tall as fuck. And there are countries that don't have a lot of protein. In their diets are short. As simple as that. Absolutely. So yeah, that make you think different. Maybe do certain Some things. Activation if my brain. meat was small, I probably have like a bunch of murders. If your meat was small? A lot of people who kill people is just, uh, your meat small. That's really what it is. You and Duval want to kill people for the stupidest shit, boy. What are you talking about? Jesus Christ. <laughs> they, they All the people who out there murdering people crazy, just have little bro. meats. There's no way that you got a big meat and you get girls and you want to kill somebody. So you want to kill somebody because your dick's little? That's probably why they. That's probably why they're killing people. There's no way that you get girls and you get money and you want to kill somebody. You about to get boycotted by all the little dick people across the world. For what? Okay. Yeah. Upset because uh, Wax wants to kill them. Oh they have no, no, I didn't say. It. See, he's not listening. I know he's saying. What do you say? You, you sound like them. He's saying that. Uh, he's, saying them. he's saying that if you have a little dick, you're more prone to kill. Kill people. You are more prone to because kill because you got too much time on your hands. Well. No girls want to fuck you, and you ain't got no girls, and you ain't no. get no money. Listen, you have no entire, stats to back that up. There's entire. <laughs> So what? It sounds good. Of people with little dicks, and they don't go around and kill people. Yes, it, I think what it is is it, dick size is all relative. You know what I, mean? I think it got to do with no, girls like you no, or not. Real talk, dick size relative. Black people, you fuck the game up for everybody. Before there was black porn, there was just white dicks in porn, and everybody was like, "No, my yeah, dick's pretty big." Is right. And then black dicks By the came way, into black the porn and fucked it that's up. That's a for stereotype too that all black men have big dicks. How big is your dick? Seven inches, three, four, eight, and when it's warm. And you think that's big or no? I don't know. It's cool, I guess. So that's a big dick. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that shit is. You're thinking eight inch dick isn't shit. a big dick. Listen, we recently had a leak. Eight inch nothing. dick is an Aquafina box. Listen, we recently had a leak in the camp, and um, Jesus Christ, we have a. I got a. Here we go. Yeah, I'm just saying. Here we go. There's what? somebody around us. Here we who, go. Who, 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 who <laughs> was sending out some dick pics to people they ain't had no business sending dick pics to, and they got back to us. 
And this motherfucker do not need to be showing his dick nah, off man. to nobody. Go home. Wax, you got a little dick, yo? <laughs> yeah. Wax, you got a little dick. I always say I got a little dick, though. No, I, I ain't mind that. I don't mind. It's not me, but I always say I got a little dick. My little shit, meat. My shit, my shit grow, grow, my shit grow little, sideways. Little meat, bro. Yeah. Little. Yeah, it's fucked up, man. It's fucked up. Can't say out here with a little dick, man. Yeah, you need to go somewhere. You need to go to sleep for a Hold long on, time. Hold on, can't say out here with a little dick, bro. Fucked up little meat, man. <laughs> Fucked up little meat. Yo. Listen, you looked at that meat more than I looked at this fucking dude giving head. Yo, well, y'all looked at a lot of dicks this week, bro. That's why I well, said that's something's going homophobic. on. Oh, I, don't, right. I ain't got to be well, fucking I can, homophobic. I, can I don't want to see it. I look at a dick it. and not feel insecure about it. I know you're not homophobic. It. You might be homosexual if you keep <laughs> looking at all these dicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. A lot of, lot of that bullshit been coming our way. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put it like this. His yeah. dick's so little, right? Yo. <laughs> When I first saw the picture, this is wild. When I first saw the picture, right? You thought it was one I of the to I, I said it to him. I said it to him. Why waxing me pictures of a dude's feet? Because all I saw was his feet. I saw a TV and his feet. And so, like, a couple of hours went by, and wife goes, You ain't really looking at this picture, yo. I said, Yo, bro, what's going on, man? He's like, What? I said, oh, You ain't, you ain't really looking really at this like, picture. Like, like, so then he showed yeah, me the picture again. I looked again. I'm like, is that his dick? <laughs> right, let me see his dick. Let me see, no, let, let, let me see the dick. Oh, you want to see it? Oh, yeah, I, let me see the dick. Y'all got dick pics in your phone. Now. It's out of control. I hate this I gotta shit. Find it. I gotta find but it. you got to keep it around. I'm never getting rid of this. Yeah, just in case. I'm you never getting like, rid of Shut the fuck you up. You need a just I'm in case dick. <laughs> in case he got a different opinion. He's like, yo, Steph Curry's the best player I had to pay money for this shit not to come out. Yeah, yeah. So he owned that dick. Oh, that's your dick. Whoa, whoa, that's whoa, it. No, whoa, I'm just saying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm saying. You bought the you dick. Own the picture. You purchased whoa. the dick. Yeah, you purchased whoa. the dick, bro. Whoa. You're a purchaser whoa. of penis. You are. That's a fact. I'm going to pull up this dick and I'm going to get Andrew's reaction. Then we're going to close. No, no, this I got to Listen, see this but dick. listen, you know, you know why I really don't send meat pics? It ain't because girls going to say, I don't show your girls my meat. I don't give a fuck. You know how many girls see my meat? I just don't want no the, the girls showing their gay friends. You right? are the most homophobic. Yo, bro, why why I just don't want another man. Do you think I want Andrew seeing my meat? Who gives a shit? I don't want you seeing my meat. I'm not gay. You really don't I don't give a fuck bro. if you gay or not. I don't want another man seeing my meat. I think so it's something you, you want to tell us, friends? man. Because a straight man don't want to see my meat. A great, uh, you know what? You know what happens? What I'm trying to get to is Charlemagne guy, was showing a gay guy, and he was like, "Oh, let me see, let me see." I was showing my homeboy. I was All right, so he was saying, "Let me see." A, a straight man don't ain't gonna be like, I was except, showing, "Let's see you." I was showing people I know would give me the he real tea on his dick. His meat. I want a real, I want a real good review of his dick. So I showed, I showed some of my women friends. A lot of them. And I showed some of my gay homeboys. A lot of and them. And they all had the same unanimous decision. Wait, this is one of the most trash looking penises <laughs> they ever seen in their motherfucking life. They was disgusting. They was really, they was really upset. They was Yo, disgusting. Give me that goddamn I'm pulling it up. I'm he he even told up. some people it's my meat and they looked at me like, wax. They was disgusting. I can't believe that. That looked like you. Like, yeah. They got a trash looking <laughs> They was disgusting. Did I go too far back? Hold on. Bro, it's got to be the text, right? Someone texted to you? Yeah, hey, I sent it I to him. I got it here somewhere. Go like this. Let me show you. But I got a new phone, so I ain't got none of that shit. No, but go to, the, go to the text with wax and then text. Oh, I got it. I got <laughs> it. I got it. Here we go. Here we go. This <laughs> yeah. is where it all started. <laughs> <laughs> There's it. a bunch of other stuff. Now, like, you you like, made... He was like, let, let, let me let me nut in your ass. Let me do a bunch of dumb, stupid <laughs> shit. <laughs> exactly. Everybody has to big, big, make it bigger. Everybody has to enlarge the picture as soon as I show it to him. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say shit like that to girls. You see man. that trash ass dick? Listen, now you got a white guy. White guys who white guy laugh white at you. Guy who That's a the fucking problem, man. That they normally have small dicks. No, we don't kind. have small, we have regular. Regular. Yeah, that's yeah. be that's that's less than regular, bro. Yo, hold on. First of all, <laughs> he has some nice feet. Exactly. <laughs> you notice the big ass feet first. Yo, you know, that's a nice feet, bro. He give his feet no, 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 no. That dick right there give a white man confidence. He like shit. Yeah, I can fuck with your fucking. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the dick? Yo, that's fucked up. You showing all, everybody this man meat, man. First of all, <laughs> I don't know anybody. Everybody see his meat. Y'all. What do you think of the dick? Well, I think you need to get it hard before you. There you go. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do, bro. Not in the general consensus wax. Every girl said like. Every girl. At least with it hard. Homeboys, oh, it's like, why would you send a soft dick pic? A shit. Especially when your shit look like that. Oh, now, if you got one of them dicks that hang, they stay just for no reason. They a foot long and they just hanging. Yeah, yeah that <laughs> shit. No way, bro. Bro, this shit barely make it past the balls. Come on, you know man. What it looks like? You ever seen a little kid sit on a chair where the legs are dangling on, and the man. feet don't touch the ground? Come on, that's man. what this dick looks Come like on, up man. the side of the ball. That that's the type of Yo, dick he, that breeds insecurity. He probably pull his balls out the piss. That's bro. the type of dick that breeds insecurity, man. And you know what's so funny? The way he was acting over the woman that he was sending all that crazy this shit is out to, of control, yeah. I would say you must got a little dick or something, man. If you got a little dick, you don't get no pussy. Yo, he never said fucking. 
only thing he says, I want to hit fuck you in the ass, and I want to fuck you in the ass. I want to eat crazy. I've said that. I said that shit before. Guys who love eating pussy. Oh, I love that's my favorite shit. Little dick. Little dick. Little dick. Little dick. That pussy. Little dick. What are you doing eating this shit? Get that. Get in that motherfucker. So, so, so to the person that knows the person. Why there's no wrinkles on it? That's what's also like. If you're too small to have wrinkles. Too small to have wrinkles. That's a little smooth little dick. All right. What? Smooth little dick. Smooth. Smooth. Smooth little dick. All right, it's too small to have wrinkles. Jesus Christ! Why would I have wrinkles? This man meat, yo. Because when you're soft, because when you're soft, you got extra skin like an accordion, so it stretches out and goes big, right? Dick, this man. my man yeah. is soft, and he got no accordion. Oh Listen, man, he's listening to this right now. Yeah, he, and he should be ashamed of himself. Yeah, man, your name, my phone is Meat Pick. Yo, don't meat be ashamed of yourself. Himself. But you need to look into that trans surgery when they get dicks. You need to get a new. Somebody dick. just died though off that shit. I just seen somebody died off of trying to get the meat larger. What about those pills? Why don't you take those extends? Them shit don't work. Don't work. Them shit don't work. That shit got my. That's, that's what Wait, I think you got my dick. Eight inch dick, and you try to extend? Yeah, because um, that's when my wife had fucked this dude in college, and she was like, "I never seen no shit like that before." <laughs> so so, eight so that motherfucker good. must have been like a donkey. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> I went and got the Magnar X pills. You know what I mean? Who's that? I don't know, but that shit is frightening. Oh, my God, bro. All right, listen, man. Please go to BrilliantIdiotsMerch.com. Uh, purchase some Brilliant Idiots merchandise. Salute to High You Cloven. They got some yeah. really dope shit. Wax got the... Uh, the wax tee. I don't know nothing I don't tea. know nothing tee show. I got that the shit is dope. tee right here. Got me in a little bit of trouble this week. That's all I got. Um, I think we got another one coming from uh, Monk's Corner. You know that, right? What? We got a little Monk's Corner tea, I think, coming in the works. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's dope. Come on, oh, and listen, dope. We have to, we have oh, let's to, take care of the family. We at the Highline Ballroom, September 30th, oh, New that's York right. City. Brilliant Idiots, NYC, yeah. live. Go purchase your tickets now, you man. You can go to HighlineBallroom.com. It's September 30th. Go get your tickets for that immediately. We're also going to do the Milwaukee Podcast Festival. Uh, we're going to be headlining that. So get Brilliant Idiots live. That's going to be October 28th. Yep. Um, I got some shows coming up. I got uh, I'm gonna be in uh, Buffalo, August 24th through 26th. Then I'm heading my ass out to Burning Man. So if you guys want to go to Burning Man, Damn, I'll, it's I'll, again? Burning Man again. I gotta go, man. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, a, old, I'm a year the, older you know, already. You want to roll? What did what I gotta do? Just take a bunch of acid and, and run around? Like I don't do acid. I'm not gonna do acid, but I'm gonna do some Molly. I'm gonna do. Wax maybe really weed. is curious, bro. I think like why did he just no, 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 take no, acid no. and run around naked? That's what they do, right? I mean, there's some people that do that. You can see a lot of movies. Yeah, I seen people fucking flying from airplanes. I seen your yeah. shit. It's but it's art. It's more like an art festival. It's just dope. I, but if you guys are interested, a lot of drugs. Depends what kind of dick you got, man. You can't just be running around naked if you got homie's oh, dick. That Kente's we just not showed. invited. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who Kente. said it was Kente? <laughs> see that? See that's fucked it's up. It's not Kente. <laughs> I didn't say it was Kente. Yo, we were pushing now. Said that you said let a bunch of uh, guys who like meats. Look at his meat. You gonna sit there and say it was Kente? I'm just joking. Well, I'm being serious. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. I, you guys got more friends than that? I thought this was three of you. I thought yeah, that's man. your only friends. <laughs> Real quick. But Burning Man, I, what else? Then I got. Uh, 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 I'm gonna be in uh, San Diego, September 14th through 16th, and then um, November 9th, New York City. Hold that date. I can't say anything about it just yet, but hold that date, November 9th. I want uh, at, you know, I want you guys to come through and we'll have a good time, November 9th, man. That that would be great. What about you, man? What's going on? Um, nothing. Just go more tour dates. Continue books? to continue to buy the book. Black privilege opportunity comes to those who create it. Aren't you going back to London? I got to go back out to London for a book tour for like four days. So okay. I, I think it's either September, right. October. I'm not sure when, but okay. I'm looking forward to that because I never really Pretty have gotten toast. to spend an extended period of time in London. I'm only, I've literally only been there for like 24 hours at a time. Yeah, yeah. So I'm looking forward to like being there for like four days, five days, and just. Really enjoying the city. I fuck with London, man. London's dope. Peace, I fuck with peace, London. Peace. I fuck with the receipts. Po- hey, receipts. I saw somebody tweeting yesterday. They want me on the receipts podcast. Of course, I do the receipts podcast. When I come out to London, you know, for my book tour in the next month or so, I'm gonna come fuck with y'all podcast, man. But I, I fuck with London heavy. Salute to London. Dope. So as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. If you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the brilliant idiots podcast. Thank- 